Valero Anesticia. Everything chill, hermana? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local tried to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Come on, spin it. What is it now? It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. <sighs> you ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. Uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. You're saving my life, V. Truly. Demons walk with him. They tear us. Hey, Kirk. Wanna talk? V. Been a while? Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't bite. Not yet. What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot, and leave it at that. A cred shark with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Hell's your problem. Cut him some slack, will ya? He'll pay. Just needs some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No. You let him off because it's me asking. Huh. You know me. I'm a man of the bids. So I need to know what I get out of it. Transactions go two ways, I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. What's this? Grab a look. Mm-hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client, just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. Soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item and I know where to find it. Plant sounds shaky as fuck. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. 
And your man, Rick? Trust him like my own brother. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. Oh, come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. Easy, V. Job's gonna pad your wallet too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. Malone ain't getting a belt. Bullshit. El cabron is best in his way. Fat ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemon? Fair veterans in chain lines. Dead in there, for sure. So you're a vet today, huh? <laughs> what can I say? War stories rake it in. Here. All yours. Knew I saw good in you. God bless. Go to the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Sebastian Ibarra. Haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Yep, no place like home. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard her, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? Two years gone by. Not much has changed. You know how it would. It has strong roots. Ever watered by the same blood. Now, tell me about you. I'll pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Shit. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carrying? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. 
pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty. One more gonna... fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who is that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just strap down below. Here, before you go. Your number? Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. On location. About to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, so you said. Yeah, something I can help you with. You Rick? Yep. You with Kirk? Yep. Camera's blind. You got 20 minutes. Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a woman of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the what fuck the out. Get the fuck okay. out. Easy. Nothing personal, Copa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What man? Never heard of thieves' honor? Finders keepers. I was first. Listen, only one of two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What, what are you doing? Chicados? Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. 
Come on, spit it out. How Wait. about that? A pig that chatters. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got your tongue? You know fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up? Let just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fucking ordinary street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Motherfucker. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Man, same. Stens is out to get people, wound tight. Though he does have a little honor left. Really think his sense of honor saved us? Well, and the fact he's Haywood born and bred like us. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, it was all my fault. Wait, what? Pigs didn't waddle in out of nowhere. My tech must have triggered the alarm. So, maybe now, as God ordained. Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. We Wells? Like, Mama Wells? Thought I recognized the name. She's my blood, all right. Coyote's her dive. It's strange you and I never met before. Got the job to steal those wheels, said the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe owes him big, and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on, let's go have some lunch. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Getting one of my good feelings. Oh what? About us. Since the kind of chemistry, you know. Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay, food it is. Let's go.
AC's legends. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. <laughs> matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Hope you're ready to bust ass through this fascist playground. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm up. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, look. Brought some chooms with him this time. You know what to do. <laughs> Work, v. Stand on the platform and we'll move on. Hacking's the next item on the menu. Might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. This training module will teach you how to apply work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. All right, all yours. Take them out. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork, especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Okay. 
Now, try to take them down in one slick move. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Now, detonate the grenade. See? Just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders, in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. Not too shabby. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not gonna give you any hints or second chances. Well, we doing this? Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Stealthy now, V. You ever relive a ninja BD? Just like that. Well done. On to the next area. Now the same thing, only with the camera. Um, sightseeing? Nice work today. Just stand on the platform to exit the sim. All right, some advanced combat techniques for dessert. Then we wrap this party up. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat.
Let's bump things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. Dull bit coming up now. Blocking blows instead of... Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Ooh. I like that. V, want to see this fool punch in air next. Don't let him land anything. <laughs> You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, apprentice. I can teach you no more. This is the part where you face your final test. Let's move on to melee weapons. Grab a sword. Good. Now show me what you've learned. Good stuff. Looks like you're cruising already. Hop on the platform. Good luck, V. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Wakako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug. 
Could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call the damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her bio mom. Fingers crossed oh, it's yeah. not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Oh, mommy. Flat out daughter, we could be that sneaky. Man, it's not my favorite way to roll, but Nova anyway. Our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does not look good. She's in a tub of ice. 
crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Heard people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Without ever knowing why. You'll be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shake it. V, jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, V. Do your thing. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie Air Hypo, fuck, this is bad. Catch, Chica! I think. Holy shit, it worked! Fuera, Chica! Get her outside! Hmm. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Fuera, get her out, Terrace. Landing, stand clear. Initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. Stop in the doorway. administered. 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Chica, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Well, trauma team took her off our hands. 
She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, no, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Whelan. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. And I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, fucking knew it. Man on their ass, tailing us. I don't like this man. I want tiny bit. Scabs! Hijo de puta! Fucking run, Jackie! Come on, Pete! Hands, keep her steady! Holy fuck! Mierda, perdón! Got you, assholes! B, aim for the driver! Chingado! <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean... I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always. I'm always never not nice.
fly out of hand. Gonk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? Don't let me through. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Dreams then. Tell Miss Sierra said hi. I will. I luego. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's luck treating you, beautiful? Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now, I'd like us to talk. Stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam.
Whoa, V. You get your beauty sleep? <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biome on. I know a neurovirus or... I need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Find me. How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call Come me on. a collector. Later, V. Oh, no, no, no. We'll hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. performances in the no tradition the sponsor for the festival is the arasaka corporation and in an exciting development even panako arasaka has announced her participation in the dashi parade so are we going to talk about yesterday enough worked up an appetite just waiting sit down let me finish this then we can drop in on senior vector didn't figure you as the type for asian i thought you'd find it too exotic what do you mean what's there not to like noodles check since sirloin check get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at mama well's signature sopa de fideos <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with a nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Guy's up to his elbows in blood, Jack. Do you want to shake his hand? Work with him. It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it, you move on. How did you manage to pull this? 
trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Old deal's riding on you now, chica. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Yes, I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gonk to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Are you in you? You started fun. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Chica, easy on the gas, eh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Yeah, Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories! For your eyes do not belong to you, or rather... Not only to you! Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us! Your joys, your worries, your life! For them it is all mere spectacle! Now, if anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. Hey, V. But who are those? Dr. Vector will see you now. Step, you ask? Why the I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses oh by putting our laughter, our tears, on full display! Get this to you. I'll you arresting him for government secrets. Open your mind before it is too late! <laughs> Jessica will, like, die if she sees this. Like, this is bad, Nova. The law drops his guard. Now you can... Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neurosocket. Think I might have gotten spiked. 
Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. Gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshawn? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi, whoa! Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play-by-play, -play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist, always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? OK. 
Okay, let's test this. Let's see the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. <sighs> Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, 
they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. thing, Miss V. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick, hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound. Actually. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Let's turn a way go. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nella, not on the horn. Let's meet, cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just want to talk. Meredith? Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Got guardian angels. With 50 caliber snipes aimed at your skull. 
You don't let me go. Your dogs will have to glue you back together. She's lying. Try that again, and it's two million volts. Got it? Do a sweep, now. Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> Her you can let go. Wanna hear what she has to say? Couldn't have been chill from the start? Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Nah. Know what, Stout? My offer just came off the table. Mistake. Big mistake. Stout, you bitch! You're done! You're fucking done! Killing everyone under your thumb! You hear that, fellas? Let me hear what you squared away. So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Doubt shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Ah, 
I hate these Borg fuckers. It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Ma Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a gel factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. You hear about their boss, Royce? Dex mentioned him. Called him special. Muchas minas, chica. In the middle of town. These loons think there's a war going on? Got a bad feeling creeping up my spine, Jack. Yeah, well, these guys are a bit more than just naughty boys. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. He will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT-0 D-1-2. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch. Planet. What gives? Primerito, I don't like this guy's tone. Segundo, sitting on your ass makes you an easy target. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on, gotta lighten up. Take a hit. What you blowing? Escape. Pure as baby powder. Black lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Upstorfs an adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip's so intense it verges on psychosis. Corps fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? 
Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it access locks using our soft. Once it's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pinned out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid out. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice, because I say you'll pay twice. Alright, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> no, he ain't dead. No, he's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So, I'm gonna consider my offer now. I don't wait! Bang. Bring it, cocksuckers! Oh, unload on them, please! Cut low! <laughs> Where did they go, on? Shit! Shit, shit, shit! <laughs> Good! Mierda! Cut off. Grab the gear. Bottom control shard. Quick! To set, bot and controller. Let's go. The quicker the better. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. It's a production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really no other way. <laughs> oh, good. Let's go. Let's go. Vámonos. Be your friend.
armed. Never see me again, didn't you? 
naive little punk. So what now? Maybe I should look into exactly what you did here. Today was about Royce getting his just desserts. Couldn't have done it without you. Flathead's yours. And consider us even. I want a perimeter. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Mamita. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure... You know. We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Miss V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't give in two shits that you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You use the corpo woman? I met Stump. And? Didn't exactly hit it off. Poor Meredith. No doubt in my mind she'll be left picking up the tab after your bad day. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Miss B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Park will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Hey there, dollface. Interest you in a preem, BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. 
synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word, bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Know what? Uh, maybe another time. Sure thing, doll. Reconsidered, huh? Bespoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Pretty dope for all of Yeah, no surprise there. All depends what you're into. Maybe you can tell me about it. Hey! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. What can a horny girl like me Nothing's wrong. for a hungry really? guy like you? Why don't you just tell me Ellen the truth? Vanilla and sprinkles? I just told you. Okay, gear. Wow. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional. Effective and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. 
making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? Like no. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right. All right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. 
You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec, need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay, all set. You need to test your profile first, tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see, where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Size won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and... Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody, on the ground, I want to see you kissing the flooring, muddy, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God, whoa, yeah, hey, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of... intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember... Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. A 
I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor Quite console simple. to unpause. Try it. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Yeah, I, I, rewind. Wait, Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast-forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off. Don't be You don't need to Yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD Roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and yeah. Serpentine. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the grab! You wanna see your kitchen the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa, you hit him now! Fuck, fuck. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit.
Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner from my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? <sighs> Unimportant, Bug. Please, focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? I'm Milisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must know that. Them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Oh. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me? Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. 
Be right back. Firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. My father's a tired. Vigil is all great here, but there's nothing will change. He's like, from I am quite sure we want now. Read the document if you can. Not enough. Sorry to make you wait. <laughs> Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Ah, uh, you don't like this. <laughs> Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Yeah, 
The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You're sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Arasaka will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? So? What now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. 
Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Miss V. Ya tengo planes para esta noche. Virgen Santísima, ma. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. About time, chica. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster. Like most of the Wells boys, it's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We have arrived. The Major Leagues. Does not get any higher, Jum. And you know something else? We fucking earned it, chica. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Really, Jackie? What? Told you that myself. Oh, for reals? Ah, oh, shit. That yeah, must have been ages ago. And who might you clowns be? Name's V. This is Jackie Wells. Oh. Is that supposed to sound familiar? It will soon. We're here to see Dex. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Drop this at Kang's house. This is it. Best leave ever. The heart of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep on that same bar. Looks like we're up. there that's rogue best fixer in all the night city thought dex was the best <laughs> rogue was lining up jobs when dex was still shitting in diapers <laughs> place belongs to her what can i get you you order two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish 
Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. How long's the afterlife been around? Half a century? Longer. Don't know by how much, though. Gotta be the oldest club in Night City. And the most respected. Don't forget that bit. Say I wanted to have a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Being filthy rich. Filthy rich legends. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. Gotta live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? Sure. In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Miss V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Well, let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Sweet booth. It's soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Miss V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza, inside, from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arasaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? There was something else. Parker made me another offer. Another offer? Uh-huh. Kind where we ditched the middleman and split the pot in even 50-50. What? <clears throat> Ditch the middleman? <laughs> Shit, now that's rich. <laughs> Clients never learn, do they? I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Miss V. You see, trust is essential in any partnership that's to be long-lasting and fruitful. How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This.
Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. Transport to Delamain. Primus Cab Company in all night city. Not a mall. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The Notel Motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? These new identities. Tell us more, what's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Hannah Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Konpeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Now hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? Okay. Feel brought up to speed? Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Fresh talent gets 30% always. But I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty, V. That's more like it, Dex. Ka-ching, baby. Last thing, Kempeki's got a strict no iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role. But a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. I'm good, no questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. 
Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior? The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me, you'll mow down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Dex ain't skimping, is he? And thanks to you, we're still getting a juicy 40%. You're welcome. Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. That really your be-all and end-all? Huh? Dex managed to buy you off that cheap? With a suit? A limo? I know, Jack. Kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. Need you to keep your head clear and in the game. We got a job to do. It's never, ever been clear in my whole fucking life. Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? We are mm. nearing our Got static. Say something, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? Aristotle. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Hannah. Let's go. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. You'll never guess who I was driving today. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. What do you mean, so You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department. Welcome to Compact. Papers are for the flathead. Don't worry. Got this. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir. <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? We're arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, uh, you are here to see Taki-san. Am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, ma'am. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. 
We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first. Notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you. No? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici because some cyber psycho blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Ugh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Honor's all yours, Hannah. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. New Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. Bar don't look too shabby. The top of the line, though. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekday, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar, if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day, when we, uh, close this deal. You will, I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. And when I say heads are gonna roll, I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making the other customers uncomfortable. Good! Because this affects them too. It'll slap Already? In the face. That was fast. What's your style? We nailed apart or what? <laughs> How do I look? Like somebody put clothes on a dog. Oh, yeah, because you look so much better. Well, here we are. La Peace Lazuli. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Bug. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough? Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Charge it a hundred. Yes, uh, little conk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot.
Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Otosaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People will start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will try. And that is all I can promise you. Okay, Flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind of bug. Got a hitch. No one inside. Oh, now. Sorry for the housekeeping's in my way. There was blood. Got a distractor. Uh, but let's see what's on the subnet. Am I the only one on who it. just gets puke and used condoms? Where's the what would you say to a TV? I'd say keep looking. Terrarium's got a control panel. Think he's single. Somehow I doubt it. Who? You know. Good Terrarium's got a temp and air quality control. Has that naughty look in his eye? Cream, yeah. Stink. Stick the flathead on it. Mean you're a noble Arasaka. Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart, always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride. Provides 330% recommended daily bites. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving streaks everywhere. Uh, Pat, something's up with the tank. Hey, Bug, it worked. Just ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Uh, Keep moving. No time for backpatting. 70% real blood dripping meat. Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instincts. Jimmy the lock. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. What do we do now? Neutralize him. Use the flathead to jack into him. I'll flash freeze him with a demon. Old lingo, don't ask. Dweller won't realize something's up. Gotta jack straight into his chair. He won't know what hit him then. Could drive a tank through here and he wouldn't feel a breeze. Dead to the world, that one. You'll have to get the flathead in there first, though. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second cam. Head into the chair, V. Jack in. Ooh, got him. Look, 
out those demons. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Compeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. What do you think? Why'd you give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's, education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Ah, fuck him. Why do I need to care about some bougie prick and his street kid fantasies? <laughs> Must have been a who, huh? I'm Yorinobu Arasaka. Would you folks like to join my gang? Ch Poser with court protection. <laughs> and the name, too. Steel fucking dragons? Oh, man. A wannabe gang goon's wet dream. Got bored of being rich, then got bored of playing tough. <laughs> fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Bug. Where, uh, were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh, about that stick up the ass. Mean the one of mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. This is going pretty smooth, right? Right? Man, are you the silver lining type? Hey. When are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. Uh, there's the awkward silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay, so why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys, focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch. Like your Nobu left us a parting gift. 
Ain't much, but it'll have to do. Bingo! Got something ejected. Come here, V. Right now. Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. They got winged visitors. Bug! Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. <sighs> How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. Guessing that's a yes. Good, let's go. Fuck, too late. Your note was about to walk in, find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. Kidding. No! Inside it, now! We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? I thought... I thought I don't smash her. Bodyguard. Mars. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one, too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bucko, we got incoming. Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? The Emperor? Yet another ass-licking legend. Shh. Now this could be soundproof.首を突っ込まないでくれって言っただろ。ほ、ファック。アズシュドゥレ。アラサカ様。まだボディチェックが終わっていません。私の息子だ。例のものを回収しましょうか。私がやる。言ってくれ。気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりのぶ。どうしてここへ。じきじきに俺に屈辱を合わせ。立場を思い知らせるためにか。出る
この裏切りだけは決して許せぬ貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだのだからなおじいこれでもう誰のことも許す必要はないイグリティ 
Fucking drop in. Carajo! Parker! Call her! And tell her we fried the case? Just do it! Evie? Kabeki's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Cryo case is damaged. Biochip integrity's it. Jackie? 86%? 86% and dropping. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated. It has to be nested in a safe environment. Well, someone's gotta do it. Del Padre, el Hijo, y en el Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie, you okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Dell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We're gonna somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. Now we best be quick. <sighs> oh, what I see. Great. Now let's get out of here. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. 
best. Like some divine comedy shit. <laughs> Save your strength, Jackie. What do you think I'm doing? But she'll be. We'll get out alive. Tell Bug, why don't you? Maybe she'd still be alive if we hadn't been so gung fucking ho. Don't take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet woman. Please remain calm. Calm! Roadblock. Oh, Miss Wamos! A hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on it. Leave it to me! Just give up! Jackie, we fucking made it! I guess we did. 
My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a Ripper dock now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been prearranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. Oh, hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be alright. You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes! <laughs> Misty, I know. She always knew. <laughs> Biochip. Don't do it for me. He'd want to be with his family. Mr. Wells' closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshaun awaits you in room number 204. See you in Major Leagues, Jack. He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? story. The murder of Arasaka Corporation CEO. Yeah, he's there. Dead. The Japanese mega corporation was reported slain on the condolences, friend, and the relic. Saburo Arasaka's son, Yorinobu Arasaka, has got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka, dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking emperor. His Majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Gotta leave, Night City. You don't say. Ring Evelyn. We close the deal, collect our cut, and drop off the radar. Aight. 
Let's settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. This could be. Remember our first convo? Dex! Seems what the I've fuck? chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Don't look it. I can't. Hey, hey, we're chill. Of course, you're high. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? Nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for it? Johnny! Wait up! Don't do this! You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Fire. 
shut down. If we cease on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches. Skull cracking out there. Is that us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Aristotle's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This isn't the Cub Scouts, Thompson. Chew it up, spit it out. on the elevator, arm it, let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. It's grass green, birds fly, cats eat bats, rats shit gnats. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy, come on! Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on. Get ready. What? Play with me? Come on. Shido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite Get incoming! The there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the rotor spinning! We're on our way! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Rook. You're on your own. Giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka's sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. Get him! All world loves me.
Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who could switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take and a we look. We turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Gramps, I know you. Hatsusi, çoksetsiz anlaşıyorsun. Ah damn, done and gone. My husband died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yuna Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you ウィーク。人は嘘つき。自分自身を欺く。だが、シャワチが。シャワ有弁だが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には慎ましさがある。始めろ。
And you? Who are you? Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. Arasaka-sama, Otoo-sama no sasugai han wa yukemashita. Kono onna de machigai arimasen. Hai. 1時間後には着くかと。クワイエット。くそ、ひどい匂いだ。
they are faint again. Keep your eyes open. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You... You... were at... Kongeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc. Quickly! Victor... Who will fix us up. We have to get there somehow! Call someone! Anyone! All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come... pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Precious tanky! It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. to defend the well-being of my family and my employees. That is why I have decided to double the amount of our active Night City security forces. President Myers has called this a breach in the Army Accord, provocation targeted at the NUSA and Militech. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of... How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. How you feeling? I don't know, Vic. The years are ringing. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic. And I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then... <sighs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I... 
I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. As a personality construct on that shard, dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another psyche's memories? How is that even possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who? Like, who's the other? Johnny Silverhand. A terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V. It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one D. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. Out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and then get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. It won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body! It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can we just take the chip out or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing saw it on TV. Oh, it was this stupid slogan? Soul something. Secure your soul. That's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. You've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. 
Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Missy, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of droid toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! <laughs> Who you work for? Start talking! I'll take 
take control. I'll find a way. You hear me? See you never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Led to the head, only thing that will fix this. Hear me, bitch! A bullet to the fucking brain! Jamura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Thomas Diner, I am waiting.
news. Today is a sad one. Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Today, we all mourn the untimely loss of our mayor and dear friend, Lucius Ryan. But when we've dried our tears, we must look to the future. To the future Lucius envisioned for our fair city. I promise to do everything in my power to ensure his work will continue on. Rest in peace, my friend. Ryan's political opponent, former District Attorney Jefferson Perales, also offered his condolences. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet eye to eye on political matters. And... Sometimes traded sharp words. But even after our most heated debates, we always shared a handshake of mutual respect. Today, I say farewell to him for the last time. Thank you, Lucius, for everything you've done for our city. Who next will assume Ryan's mantle? We'll find out soon. The first polls following Ryan's death reveal a neck and neck race between Holt and Perales. Now, a word from our sponsors. Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. Gotta find out why Night City's most courteous has upgraded to hit and runs. Probably couldn't stand you anymore either. I said shut up! Kako Okada, the lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find the moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you'll need something. You know where to find me. Why do 
Hillier's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Zerk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh... Hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Hey! She was last in line. What's gotten into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give number? them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Listen, want to talk to Delamay? You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Prem accident, I shit green apples. Now get me the real Delamine. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah. Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talk an NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown, city center. Me? Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. units in the area. Order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. Is this about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. Be so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. 
Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Hanako sama, oai tekete koe des. Kochira koso. Now, Hanako sama, I would first like to ask you. Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly... Dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, 
I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's?
Hey, look. before got a good memory for faces bars closed sorry to need to talk to punch and judy she and her den yep take the stairs down i'll let judy know you're coming just don't let me catch you missing Start again. What is it you want us to do? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. You led. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. You're pimping you out now. Judy's is embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Any one could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um, just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? The club's closed. Forget Evelyn. Don't you have some admitted? This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Name's B. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me.
Club is on. But you ran a discount yesterday. Half price on everything. And I sold twice more stock than usual. So, you broke even? Yes. The goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The stand's Tiger Claw's property, and you're Tiger Claw's property. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting oh, off. Dog. Place your bets. Sail for flavor with Capitan Calliope's world paper. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. So no coincidence we already saw two tiger day. claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets sweat. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over. Cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild horde chase. So having a grand old time. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Provides 330% of recommended daily vitamins. So hold on. You take the blow up song, remodel the hole. And uh, that's cheap. That's infidelity.
Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. You won't find any use for weapons inside. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Valerie. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? 
Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Answer the question. Do it. And then you could get back to whatever it is you do. Here's what I don't do. Spill to any rando who walks in here. How about those good looks of yours? Be a shame if they dipped below club standards. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2. I think. Thanks. See, you turned out to be useful after all. Not bad, but it would be much better real. I would eat those thighs. What do you mean real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. You just gotta be programmed. As establishments fuck sideways go, this one takes the whole damn pie. Hear that? At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh. No shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first.
Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. What's this? The one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A net runner? Weird. What will you have? Anything. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Hard day? More like hard life. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
Right there, see that? 2 a.m., they hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. Hey, no clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Don't have time for your games. Need to know where Evelyn is. We're running a skin circus here, in case you haven't noticed. Not a missing persons bureau. Let me guess, you played with the doll once or twice and now you want to run off into the sunset. Go down to reception, they'll find your soulmate 2.0 in even fewer seconds than that. They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump? Somehow I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? Here. What situation? Think I give a cat's turd about every slut who walks through here? Right, we're done here. And I'll be sure to let your bosses know how you treat your customers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. First off, I highly fucking doubt you know who my boss is. If you did, you wouldn't be calling her my bosses. And on second thought, think I'll take you to my car now. Just to see the look on her face when you tell her whatever it is you make up on the way. She hates lying bitches as much as I do. But we all deserve a laugh, don't we? If I were you, I'd run the cash angle. It's practically written on his face. F-R-A-U-D. Know you've been skimming off this place's till. How much you clep already? What the fuck are you talking about? Talking about the eddies you skim from Cloud's accounts on a weekly basis. Not skimming anything, I'd have to be a fool. Tell you another thing. Well, you've already got my fucking attention. Look, we could settle this without anyone getting hurt. Why make this any harder than it needs to be? Should ask yourself that. Listen carefully. One way or another, I'm gonna find her. And when I do. All kinds of shit is gonna happen. 
Shit you don't want to end up on the wrong side of. Assume you believe your side to be the right one. Take a wild guess. <sighs> this conversation is starting to bore me. Humor me, will ya? This particular piece of ass, out of all of them, why? She wasn't even that good. She was hot, I'll give you that. But for all the delusions of grandeur, she was nothing more than a basic whore. And like all basic whores, she got what was coming, as will you. Well, aren't you the queen of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Too bad you can't talk to dead people. Oh, wait. You're doing it now. Anyway, just scour his cup. That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? Think Fingers is gone her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. Of course you do. You'd have loved to drop an H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this.
Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. <coughs> you had a plan. You tried. You fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. The hell's that? No, 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 damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari? To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out. So I'm gonna need you in. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. If you've Listen, been honored, I know it. things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so this Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh... How you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently, they carted her off to a ripper dog goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V.
set sail for flavor with Capitan Caliente's world famous tacos, now in wheel size. More up Here, kitty, kitty, what's the hey, rush? At least here you know what you're getting. He chipped you for free? Fuck off! Yeah? Gear looks a little basic, but it works. B, can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kopiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meeting one? Got something Shabata. that'll keep you ready. After sunset, Ow. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Look if it's something raw, untouched. Raw's all you get with me. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buy it or just gonna stand there like a pig under cover? got here and you just the cutest thing if you're looking for a release I just might be your man got a message for fingers comes from the tiger claws and that message would be two things urgent and confidential meaning meaning you've got a choice oh yeah you either get your shit kicked in for being slow or for being a nosy prick Fine. Let her through, Sludge. Hey! Hands off! Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. No, no. I, I'd rather live here. Turn off the lights. Oh, gracious Someone creature! And, and benign! I have to sit in the basement <laughs> the whole time. Benedict to these elements obscure! Us to the world! Bloody stains imbrued! If, if for a friend, the king of all we owned! 
Our prayer to him should for thy peace arise! Consider inventing or purchasing a niche for yourself or a loved one. You get in touch with the administration or the Point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. V, hey. <laughs> I don't owe you Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Mocks don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. You seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh... I think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh. Of course. Honey, be my guest. Well, now hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those luscious lips of yours. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. How about now? Better. Wait, something's wrong. Caution. The MCPD has raised the threat level to two. Advising travelers. I think he's done. Are we going in? Your eyes are just... eventually... Fury! Target! Yes? Hello? What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. 
step into my office, please? Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Well... Come on. Forest. They mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Didn't like Woodman's tone. So I made sure he'll have a tough time speaking for a while. Not too fond of you either right about now. So careful what you say. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now... Either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Jude, calm down, okay? You're not helping. Let me do the talking. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Where will we find her? I like you. <laughs> You're frisky. Intrepid. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Timber's been running high lately. Yes, well, you're a far more reasonable beast. 
prettier, too. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. And you two got along swimmingly, didn't you? Exchange numbers, too. Two birds of a fucking feather. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Sounds like paradise. What's your problem? You trying to rip us off? I got four bags. That's missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm owed. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son. Ah! 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 
Yo-yo ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got every color under the sun I do. I don't bend or break scum like you. What do you want? I won't buy anything. I'm waiting for a friend. Looking for BDs, a particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off on their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Your only worry is getting stuck in traffic. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. I might catch them. <laughs>
poor fucker. Yeah. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs? Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Ordered recently. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing Bucket Slice regularly. Which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an Electric Corp power plant located near a Bucket Slice. BC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice chicks out too. How can you be sure though? Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. We go. Old Electric Corp power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this school. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street.
voice of Night City, Maximum Mike. I'm coming at you from 107.3 Moral Rock Radio. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Hey, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. That shirt. I know it. Hear that? Get out of sight. Methionine for today's batch. Relax. We'll add RTL. Wait. RTL? Erythritol. It's like candy for grown-ups. This RTL, it won't make anyone foam at the mouth, will it? Because if it does, we'll be out of this. Do you have any clue what we're baking here? Propyl methionine makes you trip so hard, even an animal would shit himself. Do you really think a little synth sugar is going to hurt? I don't understand why they take <laughs> it. Nobody buys it.
always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you've got to make it now. How do you know? I've seen you spot. I know. He's the boss, isn't he? So he should leave. Take him out quick. Ah! Incoming! Oh! Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. What do you think? What do I do now? What we came here to do. Find the truth. Ask her. Johnny, she's unconscious. Or she's a better actor than we thought. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me?
Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Well now, look at you. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be... Parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual... relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Uh, should I... Bioship? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. Take a look around if you want. Can't see her face. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, think we got everything.
What do you think? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, we are taking a reason to be too intelligent for that, to be bien. On ne pas enragé. On plie. C'est plus bon moyen nous gagner pour nous river sur un autre. Faut que nous prenions chance là. Vous gagnez plus bon l'idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon critique ça me pense, à continuer faire travail. What language is she speaking? Don't know. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Yeah. Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention you're a Nobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Biochip we stole. It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. 
The voodoo boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. Hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How do you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm. Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesucristo me. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Where? Down at the station, guys. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi.
units in the area. Criminal activity reported in Watson. Roger. Probably some cyber psycho again, but I'll hit <laughs> Say, any update on my overtime bonus? Dispatch? Suspect's vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. All units, suspect has evaded patrols. Resume search immediately. got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. I want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But 
something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory. I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't oh, mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well... Human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Guess no man caves complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. 
Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the offender, though. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? <laughs> This'll be... fitting. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... I'll see you. Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. For a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. 
He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olo, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He, he once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie, loved life and had no fear heart on his sleeve he he didn't overthink things he just went for it thought he was bulletproof and that he'd become legend at the afterlife and ultimately he did what he set out to do shit in the shoes of some powerful people if he's watching Bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. A Haywood kid with a hell of a drive. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Campos, <I'll laughs> Me too, up. Chica. Says he feels like he lost uh, one of his own. Me too. Wonder if he'll be as torn Here's up to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Don't go starting something, eh? 
Not too Jackie much. Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Lupe's been handling the loss pretty good. Pour you another? Jesus. For Jaquito? See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what get them going. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister. Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? All right, why not? To Wells! May he rest in peace. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. All right, let's go. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be.
see no introductions necessary. Already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, big fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Something that I keep you wet. Well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less? Okako, long time no see. So, what brings you here? Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Let's see what's good. Take your pick.
All right, let's see what you got. What I like to hear. You need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. It'd be tough getting a word into her. Really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Got something they want. Truly? Wanna sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Hey, look. What now? Call the backup, crack some heads open, drag the bodies inside. Hey. In you go. Get you anything? No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, and it's really her. Fucking broke, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. 
Don't mess with her. She's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T-Bug. Multiple bells ringing, B. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through a little bit? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Sokka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got nads on you, girl. Don't like that on every woman, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm. See? Uh-huh. And if I don't have the scratch, it's fuck off and have a nice day. No. More like come back when you do. Them's the breaks. Mm-hmm. Then, see ya. Soon. You know where to find me. Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. Alone AV. No ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on the AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Uh-huh. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, 
their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. So a native. Know any hick marks? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nab and Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Wise Pan Am gotta help me. I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Get rogue for a minute. I want to help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you going to tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya.
units be advised. Suspect remains in the vicinity. Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car, but you go alone, you won't get them back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kangtao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job? Kangtao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal. I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Boz. Vista Del Rey, boss? Had no idea you drive for 6th Street. Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. They still wild about stars, stripes, and core heartland values. A strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. Gave that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Good, let's roll. Get in.
Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Know what? Screw Rogue. Can't see why you even care. Because I need the money. Don't let her push you around. She's not the only fixer in town. Yet you're only here because she sent you. But I'm not the one bitching about her. You don't know her. Not at all. Did she tell you she was the one to bring me and Nash together? Did she tell you it slipped her mind to mention Nash was Raff and Shiv? Might not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm-hmm. Who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello? What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We'll manage without them. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. 
Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Figure out your differences with Saul when you come back. Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So. I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue? Saul? Your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. 
What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Down Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down, nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up, all cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. But there's no juice on them! Not to worry! Come down! I know how to surprise the bastards! Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So, classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. Soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. The cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside, and once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am.
Switch Gears got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. <laughs> Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. And my thorn! You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. Where's this son of a bitch, boss? You, wait for him here. Get good and ready. The show starts now. Let there be light. I'll take the wheel. Sure, sure. Need to drive into the pros. Isn't she? Dreamy indeed. 
I'm surprised you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. So it was about vengeance, the whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is Just worse. listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Ugh, all right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alta Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got you on first. But if they had it, would you have done it? There's one thing I've learned in Night City. It's that sometimes revenge is not sweet. Always stand to lose more than you might gain. I don't think I'll ever play by Night City rules. Are you ready? Let's get him.
Hello, bro. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the six good merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. I was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! Let's get out of here. One bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet in the Lori? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? This should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Pan Am! How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? Just here to keep you in line. Ooh, got a little more sass than Nash, do you? Wait and see. <laughs> I like this one. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll! That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped. Six streets pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Noah. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. But this place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trading them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Cheers. Here's to what's yet to come. To what's to come. Another one over here. 
Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Alta Caldos. Think you'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday. I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could always try it out. See who you become in Night City. Except, City doesn't always play fair. Don't know if it's worth sacrificing your friends along the way. You mean Mitch? Scorpion? Come on. Sooner or later, Pan Am, the city will suck you in. Won't need to cut whatever ties you got left to the Aldecaldos. Cause the city will do that for you. I guess I should think about it. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh no. The Shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? V? Mm hmm Good idea. Let's do it. Well, that's all settled then. Noah, we'll take two rooms. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. See you later. Ten casinos, five pools, top end brain dance equipment, and the best chefs in the universe. If you're looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a microsecond longer. Send space to 7299 right now. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive in the dead of space. Hey, you there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid. Yeah? What's up in the big world? What are you carrying? Firearms. Best in all the Badlands.
Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Raffins left her crooked as a bag of snakes. Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a day. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone into dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours? My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A sat wave power station. Why down the AV there, at that exact spot? Because once it's on the ground, we'll have to locate it and grab your target. As fast as we can. And the terrain there is typical California desert. Flat, dry, and empty. There'll be a big old sitting duck. Hold up, one more time. Wrench is our car, right? Mm-hmm. The cutter is the AV. The screwdriver is where the AV should hit the ground. And the clamp is the Satwave power station. That is, the net we use to bring the AV down. Um, Satwave power station? Yes. We need to break into it. Uh-huh. So far, so good. But then what? And then we strike. We hit the AV with an EMP. Of course we do. As soon as the AV is in range, we cause an electromagnetic pulse. The onboard electronics should fail outright. Meaning what? Engines will shut down? Everything will shut down. Engines included. Drive, navigation, communication systems. Aren't you, uh, counting chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can, but we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. All right, let's ride. Great, hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait, scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. No data will leak out of it through the personal link. 
Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a Corpo power station. Jump a Corpo transport. Kidnap a Corpo suit. This a plug for the word Corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive girl. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. If it happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Power stations serve the whole city? Honestly? Who the fuck knows? Guess we're about to find out. Huh. Antennas run all the way down the interstate. Mm-hmm. And they're linked, which is to your advantage. We just need to mess with the collection unit. A chain reaction will follow. Each one of the antennas will emit an EMP burst. The AV will be like a fly headed for a spider's web. We just have to fire off the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. Once we reach the station, I'll set up a bypass for the detonator. You just overload the systems. Overload the system? Yes, ma'am. When do I start? Although, hoping that's not too complicated. Is it? It shouldn't be. You just turn everything up as far as it'll go. Crank it up to 11. Got it. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. What now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face, the problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. Your method, Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Alta Caldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost had me believe in just that. You're too much sometimes, V. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight! This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay. I'm ready.
deal with them. Deal quick before they hit us. Get rid of those drones, V. What do you think I'm doing? Do it better. Good enough. Is that all of them? How did we hurry? Eleven. You got eleven. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chip. Thanks for the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out, work on my I base mean it. camp. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny. Johnny. Fucking hell. Okay, I'm fine. It's it's okay, just it's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. I think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. I thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's, What's going happening? Fuck. Fan fuck. Bull's ass! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away! They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it! Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? That's how you do it! It's losing altitude! We got the bastard! Let's go! 
We got it! No way it stays in the air after a blast like that! Either land or crash. You catch that? Never. AV, unmarked. Losing out. Mitch, there? Scorpion! What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am! Don't go near that AV! I repeat, do not approach the AV! Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors, without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering. Shit! I have three on radar! Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down! We won't let them. We have to reach Mission Scorpion! Manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion? Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck it. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Aldecaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I, I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Oh no, no, no. I, I'm sorry. Your clan? Alta Caldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they. Don't worry. We don't know for sure. Rats. Mitch! He's alive! They have them! They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can't we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Why in the hell were they following the AV? 
the fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them, help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pin him. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Clear. I'm coming for you. Too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup! Bullshit! Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Let's talk. Why should I believe you? Pan Am, shoot Shut him. Up. Listen. This isn't about you. Let him go, and tell me where I, your passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no! He's lying! You don't know, or you don't want to say? Let me get the comms back on. I'll buzz the unit. We'll talk. Pan Am! But only if you remember the Shut cowboy, the don't up. you? Oh, hit him! God damn it! Oh, shit! Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's safe, Pan right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... I 
Scorpion. Seen that Scorpion the rest, would I, want. I'm sorry oh, we didn't you get did what you could. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? I need the guy who was riding this AV. You know anything? See anything? Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but we couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with King Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. Oh, <laughs> so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Adventure.
The rest must have taken Homan with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're at the Better hurry, then. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the Alder Caldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one path. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. Trolls definitely set up shop here. <coughs> see, they must have Hellman locked up somewhere. But see, <laughs> see that? The pumps are pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. See cars, nomad. Mm -hmm. I recognize them, the clans. Trolls definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. <coughs> Buffy, see that? The pump is pretty big. Not what you I would can't. find in a place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Tower, two guards. Eyes wide open. Not even on broadband. What? So all Night City and your mom could hear a Kang Tao AV got shot down? Tear our balls off for that one. Yeah, but if we lose a passenger, they'll shoot us dead. Uh, oh, oh. Shoot, I'm unarmed. The hell are you do? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. 
Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with him. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you? I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Yes. Okay. Covering you. Are you getting what you want out of life? Let me guess. Food from a tube. Rusty water from the tap. Another murder outside your bedroom window. But what if you could leave all that book? You even get any customers out here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll forget you too. If you're looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a microsecond longer. Send space to 7299 right now. Was the group not Feel a little here. I don't know. Old employers of that one upstairs? Bullshit. If it were them, they would have sent a whole unit. And we wouldn't be here talking about it either. Sent you. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive. Alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. 
I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing, my fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. I? What is this place? Motel. Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy. And I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that? None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the Silver hand. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Long story. If Arisaka finds me, I'm dead. So are you. So we are in no hurry. And I'm interested. Truly. Clepped it off your Nobu Arisaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And to you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. 
Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engram. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. But you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little no. while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. V. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Best 
better than nothing. As long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with them? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. <laughs> See that? The fuck me. Just look at that. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will be back in Sons of bitches. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt girl from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But turned out the best you can do is chase scabs for Annie's. Sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. How you find life under my skin? Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Listen, will I notice the change? Or is it one of those things where I'll wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human, rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually aligned pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done? I can burn it to the ground. Ah, oh, there it is. A crusade. Get to Mikoshi. Smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? 
Do whatever it takes to stop him. Defeat him. Gut him. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day. Hey, look. <laughs> oh, interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both.
Listen, don't laugh, but I'm seeing some weird shit around town. Like, murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing, so I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it, thanks. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. Not <laughs> taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, won't even know whose is whose. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look.
Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grabbed a scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. V, welcome to Pacifica. Pretty quick on the dial. Just got here. That's the biz. Be in touch. You are V? We have been waiting. What gave me away? It's the hair, isn't it? We have had eyes on you since you entered Pacifica. Making sure I didn't get lost? Well, we got this, You my contact? Someone finally gonna tell me about this job? I'm just the man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. Interesting biz strategy you got in Pacifica. No details, no names, no one knows a thing. Your name we know. That is enough. Wanna talk with Brigitte? She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. We pass it. The lot ball. She's done. 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 She's I don't know yours. Chrome translation, 
Bamato. Looking for Placide. Placide. Gare ici là. Do do ti pi ti mama. C'est au même. Continue. Placide. Gare là. Mama. C'est au pas do do. You proceed. Want to talk to your boss? He's so lit. Here I thought selling domesticated fowl was still illegal. Six years poultry supposedly had the plague. Now all of a sudden, poof, it's clean. This not for sale. What you want? You know, heard a few things about you. Hmm. The voodoo boys. Best runners in town. At least that's what they say. Though nobody really knows what you do on the net. This is good. I mean... Bleeding edge black soft, corporate data heist, waging war on Netwatch. No one mentions chickens. Told me at the chapel you're the one to talk to. Mr. Hands sent me. Said you got Merc work needs doing. No here. Come with. This way. All that. Welcome to Pacifica. You know Pacifica well. No, <laughs> you guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. Was to be its own city where suits were burned their eddies. A close circle. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from corpo cash. Our interest is now in the GIM, the Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to greed. But never finished. Until last week, it was deserted, empty. But now? The animals crawled in, made a nest. Let's go. That's foul now. You deal with animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That why you hired me? You learn everything soon. I mean, it makes no sense, them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. It's your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh-huh. They trying to provoke you? Make you do something stupid? They do not leave G.I.M. How many are we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Vinina, we talk here. You sit. 
When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is first. What the hell? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you jack in. Now. Or what? You got a line of volunteers waiting? V? Home stretch, almost there. Do not fuck this up. Damn it. Here goes nothing. Well, at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. Why not send your own goons to the gym? It's not our way. How's that been working out for you? Work good, good more than bad. Your calm shaman, it is Victor. That at all relevant? Or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This cheap. It have no signature. What is it? Chip's why I'm here. Why I want a word with Brigitte. Doesn't look at all familiar. It should. Why? I see only it is damaged. Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since, that's how. Hmm. Once inside, what do I do? The camionette. Twenty thirty-five zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionette come from. Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just turn a piece backs together. Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever it Placid. is. Batman Kelly have this and i Femme Portra. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of Netrunner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm -hmm. Start with the communet. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. You have now seen with Rizzo Agwe, our subnet. Why? What for? You are, you are my vessel now. now. To, to Agwe, I see what, what you see. see. He what you what you hear. I will, I will guide, guide you to him. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. So, aim to keep an eye on me. Shows trust. All right. Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. My pay. How much we talking, and how am I gonna collect? And say you not in this for cash. You in this for problem. Do GIM for us. Brigitte can solve it. Uh-huh. Except then I found out you need me to be a bullet trap on enemy turf. That means my fee's just gone up. Mm, we will see. No promise. Got it. So I do this and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. Suti at the end of the hall. Go down, my people will let you pass. We are done. Brigitte even know we're supposed to meet? Or did you cook this deal up all by yourself? You speak with Chef in when time is right. So, voodoo boys. Why? Don't seem to believe in voodoo. Don't know. Ask those who call us this. Mean to say you call yourselves something else? And you ain't gonna tell me, are ya? Right. All ears. What? I check stability. The link on your end clear? Mm-hmm. Seems so.
too far. Come on. You go to the GIM or must I find a better map? Know the way in? Was told you would. Yeah, garage in the back. But shh, quietly, yeah? Anything interesting happen over there? Since we are here, all quiet. No one in, no one out? Well, they went out for supplies once. Get on her six! 
They. Netwatch. They always are to fuck us. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Matt. What? Placide what? They're caught. Pushed out. The runner know you are here. Hunt him. So what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. The Asian man tries to cut you off. There is a gate behind the camionette. I will open it. Okay, now to the second floor, the cinema. You paid what you paid. Eyes open now. Appropriately. What's going on? You have company soon. No, Scan her not right a photo. Uh, she must have no, a weak spot. None of those chair jocks could have zeroed that many. From my pack. Come at me! Bring it!
Coeiro. That bad, huh? She must have no. a weak spot. None of us. Jocks could have zeroed that many from my pack. Come at me! Bring it! I think she's had enough. Invade him. We need access. 
access to their data. Clear? You must first... Proceed. Whoa, hey. Easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. Okay, no more fucking tangents. Fess up, who are you? Bryce Mosley, Netwatch Special Agent. Can we talk? Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did, you followed his orders. No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. Sorry, don't work with corpse. Come on, everyone does. I bet you have too. Could verify that right away, actually. But we don't need any distractions, do we? Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an in with my mom, Brigitte. Voodoo chefin. Brigitte and her lapdog, T. Neptune, have been frozen several days now. Ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Cause you're a Ranya. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. A fate for all Ranyans. You're bluffing. Got your back against the wall, can't budge, no room to dodge the bullet. I see no reason why both of us shouldn't walk out of here alive. Oh. Want what's best for me? Altruism now part of the Netwatch mission? You don't gotta like us to see we're better partners than the Voodoo Boys. Sure, you might free Brigitte. Can't have much of a combo with her if you're dead. Rather put my trust in the VDBs than in you, by a mile. Hey, I know we're unpopular in your circles. But whenever there's a real problem, it's Netwatch, not Pacifica's shady hacker cult that gets the call. See that, right? Voodoo's no black tech better than anyone. So, no. Think I prefer their expertise over yours. Clever. Kinda. But the wrong choice. Know why? They never answer the call. If you're not Pacifica born and bred, you're nothing to them. Less than nothing. Got anything to back that claim? But the Voodoo's wanna set me up. Wanna? They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link. Slipped in the Spectre and a virus. Oh, I'm talking as if he was there. He's working you. So obvious it hurts. Asked for proof. Besides, I'd know. That so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. Fine. And? Nothing out of place. No trace of- Do it again. Then cross-check the result against the first. Identical, right? Mm-hmm. Cause it's not a real scan, it's a copy. All right. What are you offering? A compromise. I'll fish the voodoo virus out of your system. And I'll release both Brigitte and T-Neptune. They'll wake up like nothing ever happened. Not to worry. And all you gotta do is let us walk. With our data. Thoughts? Clock's flipping digits. Think I'll just stick to my plan. <clears throat> Hey, V, you all right? Uh, what happened? 
The net pig was right. Voodoo's were blowing smoke. Soon as you gave them access to the net watch web, they roasted all the agents. And you. Then why is my brain not a pile of hot goo? You know, you finally grew a pair, toughed it out. Think the Voodoo's freed Brigitte? Seems that was their plan. Worked thanks to you, I'd say. After the Voodoo's turned you into a fucking kamikaze drone. Who'd take a job from us spooky-ass voodoo boys? Plessy took you for pathetic gutter trash, someone who no one's ever gonna come looking for. Felt like those words came to you awfully easy. Well, you do look like shit right now. But I guess you have your good days. Gee, thanks. I think it's time we had a heart-to-heart -heart with our pal Placid. Head to baddies. Grumpy motherfucker. Hope he likes surprises. Oh fuck! Livy Van! You wish to talk to Placid? Is that what you want? Be because I can take you. Now continue by the side, Peter.
Placide, where is the bastard? Up this day. You return. How? How you manage this? Not the other guy you sent to the gym. Didn't make it, looks like. You set me up! You boozer, son! Say! Kite nu! Utewe! Yes, but I also saw her scans. She is no ranyu. Voye pep nu aompa. We are not safe here. Send him Placide away just for little old me. I did not want him to harm you. That we cannot allow. You know about the biochip, don't you? Yes, and we must check its condition. How much you know from my scans? More than Placid, I'm sure. You recognize the biochip because you've been looking for it. We must examine you. If you survive the gym, it is at the chip's cost. Should have thought about that before you tried to kill me. If I was here, the chip would never be in danger. If it is in good condition, we offer you a fair price. Perhaps more for the emotional toll. Chip's already taken some damage, that's why I'm here to begin with. It does not function. Not that bad. Problem is, no one I've talked to can yank it out without risk of death. Seeing as you commissioned the thing's theft, figured you might know a way to help. How do you know all this? How did you find us? Evelyn Parker. Name ring a bell? Ah, the doll, the whore. You found us because she led you to us. She has proved not completely useless after all. Listen, can you help me or not? Yes, of course, but not here. We will go to the crib, where you must give us access to the gym. Once we have the data we need, we will do our best to help you. Then, after you. You guys sure seem to love this place. But honestly, you don't give off a strong religious vibe. We left our gods on Haiti, yet we are strong here without them. This way. So how come Placide didn't know about the biochip? He didn't recognize it in the scans. Few of our people know about Compeki Tower. But Placid, he is. Your bet de ba. Where are we going? Soon you will see. Watcher did not notice the biochip in you. Strange. Never gave him a chance. Good. It would complicate our work. This an old subway tunnel? No. Part of the transcontinental maglev system. When all states were connected. Like the net, it too crumbled after the war. View a courant.
Tout le bagage paré. Nous qu'a commencé. Bon. We take you into the cyberspace. No better place for you to interact with the construct. How do I know I'll come back? Do I get some guarantee? You'll be inside our data fortress. Under watch. Under your watch. If you knew what is out there in the cyberspace, you would not be so choosy. How's all this any different from plain old net running? The interface show you the data layers direct from the net. Readable, of course. What the basic runners see is only a map. They cannot see beneath the surface. Their tech, it is too weak. Okay, hang on. Want to know what you need Silverhand for first? We wish to contact Alt Cunningham. We know she and Silverhand were close. Alt? The relic which Arasaka held close. It is our only lead. Alt Cunningham. Heard of her. Oh. Where? From who? From Johnny. Though, granted, not much. Johnny? All right, V. Guess you better tell her. Tell her what? About us. Construct's active. Let's me and Johnny shoot the shit every now and then. Mm-hmm. We will look at this, too. What, you think I'm hallucinating? Found myself an imaginary friend? Little is known of how an engram might exist within a human's neural network. I'll tell you one thing. It doesn't shake out well for the human. What's your plan to contact Alt? We try to cut out a unique piece of Silverhand's engram from the biochip. Alt will know it. If something of the human is left after years beyond the Black Wall, she will answer. Well, what? Said nothing about breaking through the Black Wall. Well, now you know. Direction yeah. connected. Connection stable. Johnny, looks like you're the bait. You okay with that? Yeah, whatever. Just do what she says. What exactly do you want from Alt? All of you. Alt, the only one, can give us safe passage past the Black Wall. When the change come, we wish to be on the winning side. The change? When the Black Wall was built, everyone think the ice would be enough. Keep the wild AIs out, the way. But technology advances, it cannot be stopped. And now, catastrophe come again. This is sure, and soon. The corporations, they do not see the danger. But we, we will be ready. The Black Wall, what is it exactly? I mean, I know. You know only what the Netwatch tell you. The final bastion against the post-war AIs. The great victory of humanity over chaos. That would be your Saturday morning Netwatch propaganda. But the Black Wall is an AI itself. The boundary condition let no thing pass through, either way. If the AIs thought like people, they would call it a traitor. <sighs> Let's do this. Stay on avec Junkie. Okay. What now? Barry Blanche. Where are we? This is our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the deep net. It's... it's all so alive. So real. Cyberspace moves, breathes at all times. The interface will adjust the ebb and flow of data to the capabilities of your brain. But you... You are an exceptional case. Seeing something more than I am? Yes. The cyberspace, it is always... Trop belle.
So, what now? We can begin. All is ready. We enhance your link to Silverhand's neural network for a short time, to grab the fragment. We must find the data on Alt. Alt alone. This should only take... Brigitte? What's happening? to have a problem with me. Cause everyone else has had it up to here. They're done thinking they can get through to you. You're fucking whacked. You know exactly why I do it. No, nah. -uh. To piss Arasaka off enough so they'll give you a case of deep muscle lead poisoning? But I'm the only one with a vision. So unless you got a better one, like I said, go fuck yourself! Fuck. Is it the concert or Carrie? Hmm? Said you weren't coming tonight. Not if I can help it. Changed my mind, lover. Look at you. All hot and bothered. Goodness gracious me. Mm -hmm. A damn shame that's that. Always gotta shit all over it, don't you? Any moment that might actually feel good. Your moment? What the hell not? You can be such a bastard sometimes, Johnny. Things were swimming. What? Change your mind? Eats at my gut. Cause you knew what you were signing up for. Look, if you were just another charismatic, narcissistic douche canoe running around after his dream with his head up his ass, I couldn't care less. 
But... It's all a lie. That concert, samurai, all of it. A ginormous fiction. You're not a rocker boy, Johnny. Face it. Ought to join the wired wackos on the corners, frothing at the mouth as they scream death to Arasaka. <sighs> huh. I get it. Like to fix your men, huh? Not the first to try, believe me. Honestly, I've got better things to do. Just hoped I'd help you realize you're deluding yourself. And the doing anything about it, that's on you. Mm, you're afraid! You and Carrie both. Cowards. I alone have the balls to stand up to Arasaka, and boy, that terrifies you. All of you. Of course, Johnny S. Misunderstood by all Night City. That's it. That's the problem. I think we're done for the day, so you can fuck off. See, I thought... Not another goddamn word, okay? Just shut up. For once. You're fucking hopeless. You don't know fuck all about me. This is all we have, all we are. Where are you going? Got somewhere to be. Silverhand! Hey! Good noise, Joe. Come on, I'll walk you home. Shoots round when a cop I die! Ran out of boosters, didn't ya? Can't kill because there's words! Plays away! Down the Playing rebel. again tomorrow. Uh huh. Let's get out of here. Join us for a drop, Silver Rocker. Another time, Chumbas. But what if there won't be another time? Huh? Johnny boy. Ugh. Fuck off! Leave me alone! Come on, rise and shine. Been a while, Johnny boy. How long did you say? Two weeks since I last cobbled you up? Man, did I miss you. Ah! Bullshit, you gonk son of a bitch. Didn't even bother to call. You were supposed to be back for your follow-up. Kid's like a son to me. So I see. How's it look down there? Well, shove so many tubes up your ass that you're about two mods off from pissing espresso and milk froth. Also tossed in a synthetic liver. Old one was looking worse than a paper bag full of shit. Great. Now I can live forever. Just as well. Where's Alt? Where's who? 
woman who was with me. He brought you and you alone. Fuck, they grabbed her. Nobody saw it? Ask your savior. Said his name was Thompson. That you back there and what? We gotta talk. All right. It's spit and glue, but she's holding tight. Get some rest. Even a few hours, but the stitches set at least. Uh-huh. Johnny. Yeah, fuck it. You won't listen anyway. How much you see? Not much more than you. They wanted her. You... You was just home. And you, just stood there, dick in hand, gawking and dreaming of tomorrow. Would have shredded us both if I jumped in. You see the guy's reflexes? Course not, he was that fast. Tech like that, you don't find in a dumpster. Got lucky. Lead panned out. Got some preem footage. Too bad my lead got tossed in the back of a van and sped off. You, uh, aim to do something about it? She was your output, wasn't she? Alt's kidnapping, it's collateral shit. They swiped her to get at me. You even know what she does for a living? Girl's one of the best runners around. So? One of how many? No. Only linked to Arasaka's the fact that Johnny Silver and... Boning her. Well, she's been working for ITS lately. Wrote some real smooth black eyes for them. Not to be duped in either sense of the term. Arasaka wants her. Abduction was a standard intercorp extraction. Nothing more. Hang on. Alt was gonna meet you tonight. Mm-hmm. Said she could use my help. Wasn't kidding. Sokka tried this before, you know. Except Alt got lucky. Slipped through their mantis blades. Telling me she was afraid. And she went to you. Yeah. And frankly, I'm starting to see why. Okay, so what are they after? Soul Killer. An AI. Sound familiar at all? Of course. Urban legend with the shittiest name ever. It's no legend. Soul Killer's real. And your Chumbas at Arasaka just hired the runner who wrote it. Take that in. Sokka with Soul Killer to do with as it pleases. Grim, my man. You even imagine that, Rocker? Arasaka'll be unstoppable. Soul Killer will flatline any runner who comes close to even trying to scratch its eyes. Seen it happen. Not an iota of physical damage. Nervous system or anywhere else. No sound, no fury, no stench. Just all of a sudden, brain waves cut out. As if someone pulled the plug. Or ripped the soul from the body in question. Cool. Tell me the rest on the way. Do I hear extreme doubt? Oldest, tritest tale in the world. Arasaka was out to provoke me. And it worked. So what'll it be? Coming with? Where to? Arasaka Tower. To grab Alt, right back. Just you and me? You out of your fucking mind? Swing by the Atlantis on the way. Got some chooms there. I'll be in the car. Can't wait too long, though. You'll wait as long as you need to. Where the hell's Rogue? Up there. Sit. Stay. Silverhand! Got an IOU here with your autograph on it. You seen Rogue? She's upstairs. But I heard you two weren't, uh... Well, you heard wrong. Uh, 
hello. The fucking fuck. Johnny, give me a hand here. Heard you weren't talking to me. Dunno. Seem to be talking to you. How about now? Now you can go fuck yourself. You know who he was talking to. I need a name, just one. I wish Johnny. I could remember, I do. This enough to refresh the Oh, stinks, Angles. Got a private meet going on advice. in there. Sure. Rogue back there, too? Way. Yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, private meet, so you said. Promise to be super unobtrusive. God, I hate this fucking town. Johnny. Don't know you. That's no problem. Just as long as everyone else knows Johnny Silverhand. Need your help. We're waiting for a client. One who values discretion. Mm-hmm. So much so, he himself didn't show. No point in sitting here, then. You still mad about that thing? What thing, Johnny? That you fucking lied to my face? Put my peeps on the line? Or that you were fucking three other women behind my back before we were through? Look, our history, I know. But we don't really have time for feelings. I'm in no hurry. New partner? Gotta say, that famed charm of yours? Overhyped. Or maybe just dulling with age. You have a job for us, Rocker? Or are you mainly here to run your mouth? I got a job. That's it. Urgent. But I got the Euro. How much? But out. This isn't your biz. Is now. Rocker just pulled out his wallet. Don't you get it? He's not here about any damn job. He's fucking with me. Last so time this he... time, you'll be smarter. Take your eddies up front. So, how much, Rocker? It's Arasaka. I'll understand if you'd rather not. If you wanted my attention, you just earned it. But if you're aiming for a friends and family discount, I'm not your man. Corpos, riding in on them hard. You two do that for fun. For fun, but not for free. We leave that to rocker boys. It's important. Name your price. Ah. So you're either made of money, or you think we won't live to collect. Either way, Rocker, you're coming with us. Deal. That it is. Urgent indeed. Shit, Johnny. Didn't notice you had a fucking tail? Mr. Silverhand, you're coming with us. Sure. Let me just finish this. Aren't you Mr. Popular? Yes! Fucking own it! Get back. Cover me! I'm impressed! Seriously! Burn down! Take that! Now they're coming! Get back! Whoa! 
Trouble in heat. There'll be more at the bottom. Bet you thou. We're parked outside. You coming? Thompson's waiting for me in the car. Who? Media. You wouldn't know it. We've got it. Help me. Look. On the moon. God damn it! He has come back in! That healer can come back. We'll be back. Let's get the hell away. We'll be right behind you. Car, we're fucked. One way to go. Forward. Fuck. I have no idea what that was. Not half bad. Cunningham, net runner from ITS. Oh, yeah. The tower. What's the ticker there? This gets better by the minute. How you want to play this? Either of you gonks got a plan? Yep. Distract him. Make some noise. Nance. She'll know how to draw a crowd. Call on her. Set up right under Arasaka's windows and crank it loud. Blast the pains out. It'll be a gig to remember. Psychoactive agent has been dispersed at the site, affecting those in the crowd. All right. You recording this whole thing? Uh-huh. Why? Want to say a few words to the folks at home? Do what you gotta do. Just stay out of my way. Thompson. Know him well? No. Why does it matter? Don't like the guy? Don't trust him. And medias are bad luck. What? Bad luck. Say someone finds a tape later. A tape of us breaking into Arasaka Tower. Worry about that if we make it out. Come on, we don't have much time. <laughs> mainframe. Gotta find the mainframe. Give me a 
sec. I'll get it open. Cover me. Ready or not, here they come. Got four in view. Headed get this ready. way. Got get four ready. Headed our way. Hey! Leave a little for me. Five seconds at one. That went well. Let me try. Son of a bitch! Try this. Ah. Now I see why we brought him along. Three, two, one. Perfect. I would advise you not to disturb her. What'd you do to Alt? I put her to work on a project of a lifetime. Get out of my way. Alt. Is she? Alt, come on, don't do this. Fuck! Johnny. The hell are you doing? Are you still rolling? This is all we can do now, my man. Show people the truth. <laughs> Won't change her. She's not. Go. Johnny! She's dead. Well, spit it out before you burst. Thompson. What happened to him? Dunno. Never worked together again. Maybe, because you whooped his ass to make yourself feel better. Guy was a vulture, out to use all from the start. When Arasaka flatlined her, man, for him that was sprinkles, with the cherry on top. Fuck, he would have killed her himself if they hadn't, just for his cockrot story. Never even told me half that about Alt. Really? Any examples? I don't know. That you were a couple, that she rode Soul Killer, that she's dead. How the hell is she supposed to help us now, as a ghost? She's not dead. Managed to escape. I saw the body. All fled into the net. When'd you find her? When she made contact a little later. And? What did she say? That she was a captive in 
the Arasaka subnet. But they couldn't hurt her. And she told me not to come looking for her. So, what did you do? Got my hands on two thermonuclear charges. Then headed back to Arasaka Tower. And Rogue went with you. Again. I paid her well. Said it yourself, she was the best. Had her pick of contracts. But for some strange-ass reason, she took a job from a rocker with a death wish. A rocker, forever getting his ass beat by Arasaka. Different times, kid. Back then, Marks didn't normally sell out to Corpse. All you had to do was yell, Let's fuck up Arasaka, and every last one of them chizzed their pants. Rogue included. How do you know Alt's still around? It's been half a century. Which you've spent cloistered in Makoshi. Netwatch could have hunted her down years ago. Oh, they tried, believe me. But their tiny corporate brains can't handle a free AI that knows how people think. They were busy looking for her in the Crystal Palace while she was building the Ghost City for Kang Tao. Voodoo boys think they know where she is. Beyond the Black Wall. Where nobody can touch her. And Brigitte's primed to go there. Break through. Just to contact Alt. Talk to her. ka -ching. Sure felt like more than a moment. Saw a good chunk of Johnny's life. And Alt. It is possible. Data connected to Alt are linked to a strong memory trace in the construct. Very strong. These memories must have evoked a powerful emotional response, then projected onto your consciousness. Emotion, yeah. Plenty of that. Construct, what kind of shapes it in? Enough data is uncorrupted to convince Alt it is authentic. What the hell's that mean? So, did it work? Yes. We extract the necessary fragment of Silverhand's anger. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, we must dive deeper. returned. She will be the first. So, actually, you got no idea what's beyond that thing. But we will know soon. In these shapes I'm seeing. Wild, unfettered AI, searching for a passage. I held up my end of our deal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. We will not pass through. You will take the code to the other side. Don't got much for options, do I? Ali. How do I get to the other side? Proceed? Let me handle this. Johnny. K-12. 
came through the Black Wall to meet me. That mean we're good? Things are chill between us? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. To give you a chance to pay me back for getting you out of Arasaka Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save her life. The chip, the relic. It's killing me. Construct on it's worming its way through my neural system. I see this, but why is it my problem? Why the fuck isn't it? You created Soul Killer. You handed Arasaka a fucking super weapon that dismantled me, you, and half the runners in Night City. Your death was of your own making. Jesus, Alt, I dove in after you. Gonna tell me now this ain't your problem? It is not. The Alt Cunningham you strove to save in Arasaka Tower no longer exists. This should be obvious to you, as you were responsible for her death. Your death wasn't Johnny's fault. How could you know? Seen you in his memories. It was an accident. What you saw was his subjective view of what happened. A warped account of events he locked away in his subconscious, and replayed time and again. It bears no resemblance to the truth. If you're not Alt, who are you? I use her engrammatic data. Really? You find this icy bitch aspect in there too? Okay, I get it. You hate Johnny's guts. But what about me? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. It's your tech. You created Soul Killer. The program I created has little in common with how Arasaka has since repurposed it. Fine. So how about Mikoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Mikoshi, it would cease to exist. Good. We can work with that. We'll get you inside Mikoshi and you'll help V. Deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Mikoshi on her own. I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far says I'm too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name. But Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into her body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Great, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into Makoshi. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Makoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Voodoo boys, what about them? They shall let you pass unharmed. Those were our terms. So you managed to survive. Be interesting to see how your deal with Alt works out. Won't be easy to dupe her. 
And I'm not sure you guys know another way to operate. You dare now to lecture me? Think I'd rather give you your due. Bet other Ranyans never live to enjoy this moment. Enough. Old can protect you in her realm, but here and now, you are in mine. I actually was just on my way out. Pretty disappointed. With what? That you can't zero me after all. It is out of my hands. Did you hear about Brigitte's ask from Alt? Or was that memo way above your pay grade? Like the biochip was. Oh, you tried to provoke me. Is this wise, you think? Bingo. How am I doing so far? spent. Fuck! That was your tickle. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat money while we got a job to do. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah. Smash Makoshi. You really are turning into me. <sighs> Might be right. We're bickering like a shriveled old married couple. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. No idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like? When you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? I have a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember. Cold, a black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? Makoshi, why did Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Ha uh ha. -huh. People can be bought, brainwashed. But it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart. Reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary, talented runners. Soul killed. Packed away. Probably using them now. Probably controlling them. So, wool in hearts and minds. That's what it's about. Uh, the usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. 
shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak round the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? Because you're trapped there forever. It's eternal. No, nothing's eternal. And for the Psyches and Mikoshi, no such thing as the passage of time. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what Arasaka's doing at Mikoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. Oh, so you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Real shame. She left a demon for you. A gift from beyond the grave. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. You stink of... Can you talk? It is important. 
What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. <laughs> I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one man. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. My God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this her? Your thief. She's my witness, V. Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. 
I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then, Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence. Choking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth! The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sorry, Sama. but this gonna take much longer. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself Raki. That I am not you. You cannot. Oda. Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful. My friend, we are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. 
Jorinov and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. I miss the sound. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite koei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You wanna make them, we got this. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws. Kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, hmm? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer. Wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Japan Town. 
whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Man, you're trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. Well, well. That's the cut I got off Pablo. You don't like it? Take it off of here. To the nearest door for a day. be this time trash processing plant deserted in cart station in the south of japan town there is a street market it is on the footbridge above the main street use the elevators it is easy to get lost i am on my way there do not make me wait
insane. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot's no one spark. He's all it got takes. the gift of the gab. Can't be denied, but I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? B? Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, B. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who'd care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Kumindomo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. And how you aim to manage that? While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest, net running's not my forte. It is even less mine. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. Take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. But we cannot forget. 
Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Chill, Johnny. He's Saka scum to you. I know that, but Goro's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako Sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. He won't ever be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him stray even a couple of feet. You can say goodbye to his fucking honor. Go You're with a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills. Mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Is ultimately to defend the well-being 
Cook! Louder! Louder! to double the amount of our active In night city security forces. President Myers has called this a he eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete the power NUSA and he surrendered it to Tell him. me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. So. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. Well, why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at the critical moment, he showed a weakness. For your Inobu. For his daughter. When Yorino formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorino returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. Come. I have found a good place. To observe. We must just climb up here. <gasps> now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I'm simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities. 
weaknesses while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. This is not bad. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kompiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? what? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanico. A bacchanico? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. Uh, let's see. The hopping buildings, running away from badges. Iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. 
What'd they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge. That is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. The spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate Corpse more than anything. Can't blame him, either. Got some regrets, but... Clepin from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck. Getting worse. You do not look so bad.
diversionary action. That is my duty.
In the tunnel. Tighter than a wetsuit in here. Oh, reeks too. You will have fresh air once you reach the warehouse area. things at your end. Find you, no matter what. Drop 
your weapon and show yourself! Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha. <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now, it is my turn. Can you see? The roof kills. Even the room is a slow thing. Hey, the roof! That is your turn. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. D, you must hurry. I'm out of the way approaching you. Have me dead. <laughs> Worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Start. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Enjoying the weather. Average temperature. Next stop is on. Happy new gun owner, I hope. Upgrade. 
get back here. Just in time. The NCPD If you're here to jump, remember that there's help available. Round the clock hotline. That is not funny. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit, we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang! No more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float. Enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Mine's fucked beyond all recognition. Yet here I am. I know, and I thank you for this. Ah, thank me once it works. Now get in position. Very well. Wait for my signal. In extreme cases, stay safe, Coral. In response to a fruit.
got to be careful what you will face, Arasaka drones. I also spotted the Netrunner in her Arasaka uniform. She is somewhere hidden. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach all snipers before Anagosama's float appears. You are close. He's almost in front of you. He's watching the crowd, not his back. Won't know what hit him. the one closer. Now you must leap to the balcony by the green arrow and take the elevator. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. It was 15 years ago in night. I know that borked out ogre. Adam fucking smasher. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Sabura, I'll have to be satisfied with smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine, we. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Takamura didn't plan a little bit. Fuck! Daisy Almost fire. fell! Carefully, you must not draw attention. Told you so. Silence. Enemies. And 
and it is no coincidence that I utter them here in this book. It was 50 years ago in my city that our enemies showed their true colors. A cowardly act of terrorism that consumed 4,000 lives. The lives of Arasaka Corporation. The lives of Just a few feet more and he's yours. Soldiers say, target down. Good words to hear. You will find up the wall to a staircase at the end of the room. It's the shortest route to the next sniper. He positioned himself high. Keep you posted. Saka Nitrana. 
She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Near to the second sniper's nest. Okay, on my way. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Order. Of course you're here! I need you. What's the distance? Uh. Stay away from his plane. He will slice you like a bitch. That's it.
He's breathing. For now. Please, V. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. You and your fucking sick sense of honor. Did it? He's your lucky day, though can thank your old friend, Goro. It is I who thank you, B. Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. Parade あなたの。俺たちだ。私が Girl, all systems jammed. It's now or never. Otosama. Hanako sama. Anata wa. Oiru shio. Toka, hanashi dake demo okiki kudasai. Saburo sama wa. Shichi no koto o kuchi ni shinai. Kore ga ore ni dekiru saigo no go hoshi na no desu. Yeah, for now. Lost your fucking mind? There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block on Pine Street. Second floor, number 303. Knock four times. Hurry. Almost got trampled. I look okay to you? We're about to go live. Three, two, one. Is Jillian Jordan of N. More news coming to you live from Japan. We're in
Okay, come inside, quick. I feared they had caught you. Right about now, Hanukkah's the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. You're right. Let us not waste any time. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes. She respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Hanako-sama, Kanojo ga Rei no jinbutsu desu. Dou ka hanashi o kiite agete kudasai. I was there that night at Konpeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. It's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Why? My word means shit to you? Hanako-sama. I apologize on her behalf. Oh, shut up, Goro. We're supposed to be honest. Well, that's what I'm being. Fine. Maybe I am just a two-bit thief, but I'm the two-bit thief that stole that fucking relic off you. Slotted it in, took a bullet to the brain, died. You... died? Oh, yeah. Now I'm stuck with Johnny fucking Silverhand in there and I'll do anything to get him out. So I got exactly nothing to lose. But you got lots. Hanako-sama, we is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. Got a bad feeling about this. Ugh! <laughs> 
What Don't the? you fucking dare float off. Not now. Come on, gotta get the fuck out of the city. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell yep. you. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm hmm. See, decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. Not keen on us ending up like Takamura. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. Are you asleep? Time to wake up! I know you're in there. Are you asleep? Time to wake up! Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to hear, or will you let me in? I'm armed. Don't try anything. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that... blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this dump. So? You were saying? Got a message? <sighs> Sitting right here. <sighs> It'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Damn shame you didn't believe me earlier. Goro might have still been alive, had you? If you invoke his name, remember he did everything for this conversation to happen. That demands respect. Fine. Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time too. Dying, in fact. My dead body'd make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Wanna know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. 
The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using our own modified version now. That should be more than useful. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least. Got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? Let us meet in person. At Ember's, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of psycho meets barge in here. Got what we wanted. Don't tell me that proxy got to you. Fuck you. Come on, think about it. Yesterday, Hanukkah was living in a world that was completely safe for her. Now what she got on her hands now? A foreign city, a homicidal brother, and a fucking thief. It's why she sent a proxy. She's alone. And she is shitting herself more than we are. Uh-huh. Clink. What? Did you say clink? Mm-hmm. Sound of her attaching her leash. What's up? Got a few more words about the... the porcelain cunt? Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. The Grand Imperial Mall. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. It's not a pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. <laughs> Did you want to pop the pill? Coolier Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Climb through the window. Can manage that. 
I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. Fifty years back. Uh, Mexican conflict? When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now, watching a fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Wanna be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I... Do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea. Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. Not sure it's something Rogue would bother with these days. She delegates. Why stick her neck out for this? Or at all? Cause I'll ask her to, personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Fine. I'll do this for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. Yeah. The Hotel Pista Sofia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today.
Welcome back. So, ready? Rogue should be here any minute. Okay. I'm ready. About fucking time. Oh, look a little different. Fuss with your hair, or... Fuck, it's good to be back. Never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Tequila old fashioned. Top it up with beef. And sprinkle in some chip. Silverhand special. It's been a while since anyone ordered that. <sighs> Give me another. You got it. Cassius Ryder, do you mean anything to you? Mm-hmm, tattoo guy. How do you know the name? We go back. Where will I find him? Got a salon in Watson, Pershing Street. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? Other one. She's gonna love it. <laughs> sure she will. Jeremiah Grayson. Hmm. I heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah. Could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins. Sloppy second for Grayson. After I banged her.
left or right. I think I got something better. Hey, you Ruby? What? You've heard about me? Let's get out of here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. Just got a little biz to take care of first. Of Ruby. She ain't going anywhere with you. She's on that clock. Got it? Oh, I missed this. Be waiting outside. You waiting for me? Let's go back to my place. Maybe I'll call. Uh, I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. First thing every morning. <sighs> Talk about something else, please. Sure. First time you walked up, since there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah, Johnny told you. Uh, did we... You know... No. Gonk was too drunk. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid, too bad she's gone completely whacked. <sighs> Came to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity. Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. Smasher, he, he tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait... Grayson? Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Know what Smasher's been up to all this time? Disappeared after the Sokka Tower assault in 2023. All thought he was gone for good. Then suddenly reappeared. Did a few Mondo jobs for Arasaka, then went right back to ground. Nobody's seen him in years. Except Grayson, apparently. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. Hollow buzz you when I learn something. Okay.
Unbelievable that bastard's somewhere in your head. to be the one puking right now. Yeah, well, life ain't fair. Sure picked the right moment to bolt out of my body. Ought to be happy I left it all. For a moment there, it did seem like you were thinking about Stan. I mean, such a good time. Don't trust me after all, huh? I know you thought about it. Saw it. I did exactly what we agreed. Let's get out of here. The hell is this place? Place where you can puke all over the carpet, no problem. Beggar, not chooser. for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found some. So, section of the docks that's better. maelstrom turf. <gasps> no. So you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Crispin Wayland, he's helping us. Hey, V. I hear you're on to Smasher. Ready? We'll talk on the way. Wayland of the Waylands. Yes, girl. I take it you heard of old Andrew Boa Boa. Like everybody in this town. That is nice. But me don't share my father's aspirations. So me expect to live longer than he did. Going. Let's go. Good luck. Coming back later. Maybe. Don't know. Don't wait up. How did Wayland help you exactly? He made sure we'll find Grayson at home when we stop by. So we know where to look for him. Got you a little something. Try it on. 
this Johnny's jacket? A replica. Made to order. Real jacket must have disintegrated into dust years ago. Thanks. Jump in. Finally looking half decent. What'd Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Said you're the best. Always were. The best? <laughs> Too bad that comes at a price. Sure you're up for this. What? You getting cold feet? No. Just... Don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam Smasher's his obsession. Not yours. <laughs> Think so? Just trying to play fair. Little weird you didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation, time to time. But, uh... Never tried to track him down. Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay, sure. Believe me, I'd know. We'll get back to that, I guess. Here's as far as we go. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fucker's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, we can start. Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. Maybe Smasher or Grayson will rear ahead. Maybe. Don't hold your breath, though. Wouldn't be caught dead here in daylight. Okay, good as it's gonna get. Maelstrom's got the docks covered, and you'll cover me. 
Come on, let's go. She's Got tense. An idea. Cover her just in case. Me. Watch the door. Now knows exactly where to find him. She's stalling. Told you, Rogue's still scared of the asshole. It's like they're hiding out on the ship. Okay, let's see what we turn up. Over there, to the right. There she is. The Ebonique. Not looking so hot. Even shittier on the inside. Let's go. Kinda hard to believe he's got his hidey hole here. Did you expect Smasher to put up a sign or something? Okay. Why are you Don't even doing this? this I'm settling a score. Avenging Johnny. Interesting. Now I know who jumped King Tao last month. Thoroughly pro work. Sure, it was this exact merch. Six seven nine two seven five PN one inch. Sent three crews out myself to find it for the Chinese. Whole city was after it. Gotta admit, the bastard's good. Yep, real fucking preem. Now we find and kill the bad guy, okay? Hear that? Grayson, yeah. No, not that. <laughs> Fucker shooting at me with my own gun. Valorian, 3516. Signature sound, I'd know it anywhere. You're not getting out alive! I let you myself! Come here! The gun. Not yours, I don't think. Grayson. Oh my, Rogue. Uh, 
you and me not playing for the same team anymore? <clears throat> Guess I'm not at all surprised. Seems your specialty. Slipping shivs in the backs of allies. <sighs> We're a smasher. I'd start talking if I were you. Wound looks pizza wreck awful. And I don't see no one around who could help. But I'm happy to talk. Ever wonder how Rogue survived after the attack on the tower? How in hell no one ever hunted her down? Her alone. <clears throat> Out of all that Atlantis trash. Cause I do. I truly wonder how far she had to go to set herself up so comfy. Who'd she finger fuck? Whose crack did she have to lick to- <laughs> Where's Smasher now? <clears throat> With the Arasakas. But I think you know that already. When's he due back? Never. Faithful old Adam's just been named head of security there. Uh, not coming back to this rat hole ever. I stayed behind just to tie off his loose ends. Shit! Could say that again. You two will never jump that high. Smasher's out of your reach. But don't feel bad. He'll find you himself. Likes to resolve shit like this in person. Gonna lead us to Smasher, Assface. Even if I wanted to, he don't trust me enough to... Hey, why are you so interested in Smasher anyway? I'm not. Interested in Silverhand and what happened to him. <laughs> Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> what do you want to know? Silverhand's iron. You had it. What? You a fan too? Smasher give it to you? Uh-huh. Reward for a special job well done. Smasher ever tell you what he did with Silverhand's body? That into him, huh? Plan to exhume that scup? Or you just want to hear how he died, soaked in his own piss, neuron scorched by Soul Killer? What did they do with him? Badlands, near the oil fields, buried out there. <laughs> 101 northbound, then head for the landfill. Dig deep enough. Might even find a shit smeared. Heard him now. Finish him. Let's in this quickly. Wanna rip my eyes out just looking at him. No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. He deserve extinction? Do I end him? Yes. Meaning... Do what you think is right. Smasher's got something that was Johnny's. Could be yours. Just gotta let me live. How'd Smasher wind up with Johnny's stuff? Told me Saburo Arasaka ordered him to get rid of the body. Any and all sundries. Sold most of it, except the Malorian, and what I got. You got lucky today. Turning soft on me, V. What I promised. In the container, on that Goliath over there. What's inside? You'll see. Got the access card right here. Take it. For fuck's sake. Pointless. This whole thing. Still no leads, nowhere to go from here. Fuck. V, tell her. To Johnny, this is more than a 50-year-old grudge. Really? Like, what is it? It's about you. He wanted to do this with you. What, to cheer me up? <laughs> Didn't work. Smasher. Fuck! You don't get it. This isn't about Smasher. 
He's just the goddamn tip of the iceberg. Even if we get him, what does that get us? No reason to stay. I'm out. Not at all curious? Later, V. Leave her alone, V. She'll get it together. But times like this, she prefers to be alone. Okay. I get that. Gotta get that container down somehow. If there's something of mine in there, I want it back. Okay, looking for the control panel. I know what it is. Let's see what we got here. Take that rag off it. Okay. My ride. Hop in. I'll even let you drive. Hers like a dream. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go see where they fucking planted my ass. Never realized the thing between you and Rogue was that serious. Oh, damn right it was serious. When we met up, someone always died. How so very romantic. Definitely your style. There was always something going on. She had a gig, I had a gig. Music, that is. Was never run of the mill. Although did try to take her to see a flick once. And? And nothing came of it, as usual. Located, details have been sent. in the area. Order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. Okay, gotta be around here somewhere. Can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. Uh, better than the junkyard where I landed. So 
that's how it is. Nothing here at all. What did you expect? Headstone, flag, and flowers? No. I... I don't know. A marker. Something. Anything. We'll figure something out. Better now? A bit. But let's say it was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. guy who saved my life. V, you don't know how much I want that to be true. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up, but we have. Been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. Yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. Too bad we didn't talk like this earlier. Would have made things easier. Never found the right moment. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things, I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night, complaining about not being able to kill me. Never thought we'd make it this far. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Come on. Already have. True that. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny? You're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife, pick you up.
some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look... different. <laughs> Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm third time around. Hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? I'm just your driver. See you keep him on a short leash. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. This Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a day. Thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there a million years ago. So it wasn't his idea? Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up Arasaka HQ. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning... Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with you. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. Taking it all in. <laughs> a selfless Johnny Silverhand. Apparently you're a positive influence on him. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. All right. Do your thing. I'll watch. Okay. Gotta be the past, this. Guess we really are going to the movies. Wham right, bam sha la la. Well done. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure thing. Exactly where I was supposed to take her 50 odd years ago. Right, let's go check the projector. Entrance is over here. Okay, looks like I found the projector. You wouldn't happen to know how to get it up and running. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spurt of runny shit. V, we're at a drive-in. 
Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Have fun, you crazy kids. Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. This is how you imagine this evening going? Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. But I like 2077, Rogue. A far inferior version. Okay, so it's 2015. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? I'd do everything in my power not to lose you. Johnny, I... Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Nothing, it's just... Had a lot of time to think while you were away. What ifs and all that. I think you might be hiding something from me. Johnny, there's a heap of things I'm hiding from you. But all we got's this one night. It's more than I ever could have asked for. Rogue, I'm here on borrowed time in a borrowed body, but I'm here. don't. Tried so hard to pretend nothing's changed. To pretend I'm the same rogue you knew. Actually managed to fool myself for a little. <sighs> Get back on my own. Rogue! Fuck. Gone. Yep. 
Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. It was gonna be a nice night at the drive-in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Got a mullet over. For now, take me to North Oak. That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. What is? Come on, don't run. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about so let's town. Get you back Scream to sheets are full Come of on, shit about don't it. run. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Always did have some beef with him, didn't you? Me? Nah. He's the one who couldn't decide whether to fuck me or boot me out of the band. By driving. Problem Through with care streets. was he had a dick. Well, meaning I wasn't interested. Yeah. Afraid. But he was Come missing on, the don't balls. Run. Only posed as a rebel to fit in. Actually desperate not to step on any toes. Arasakas especially. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs. Look around. Critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person? Gotta hand you the reins again. Fine. Yes. Take me Behaved there. myself Just last time, didn't I? Here. I think I warrant another furlough safe. good behavior. You're welcome in, but okay. do take it slow. But I want to know what you plan to, to do. Anything. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. 
I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you want to take the wheel. How's this freak tech? <clears throat> ah! <clears throat> Fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Butterfly Carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. All right, I'll give him that one. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Feels so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable. Lost everything. Who the fuck? Keep playing. All right. No. no. This is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire! Been waiting 50 years to do that. 
So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. Alright. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like her? The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat-infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had an Ed do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart imp, that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would've had to get in line, that's why. Who's that? Louise, the ex-wife. The what? <laughs> You're kidding. How long did last? Eh, hey, too long. But don't worry. It worked out well. For her. Gave her my house in Tokyo. Cars. Kids. Yeah. Worked out pretty well for you too, then. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do. One gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. I'm not there, figure it out with V. Sure, uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. How am I...
Johnny, you okay? <laughs> no. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You do have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Wanna see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. Okay. Call in Nancy. Fuck yeah. Nice. Nancy? I mean... Bess? Bess Isis? No. This is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News. How can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. Anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Totentons. Finished him off too quick. Could have stretched it out over two more rounds. Fuck all starting to come together. No media would ever go for the Taunton tenants. Except Nancy. Just like that. Totem Tanks Start two. moving! Fuck yeah! Third floor! And press the button! Well, oh, my fingers are numb. Way. Remember that tape from All Foods? That's the Rimbo who did Royce. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that stupid to show up here. You the one? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's her. Look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the All Foods part. I'm not blind! What do you want? Watch Beth it. Isis. Mean anything to you? You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. Gotta talk? Sure. I'll take you. Too easy this is going. To be honest, 
should be thanking you. For what? Getting Royce out of the way was about time. Worked out pretty well for me, too. No problem, anytime. it up. You tell us who really sent you. The Tinos? Corpo suits? How in the fuck you search her, Tundar? That she still managed to call for help? Shit, that's Nance. <sighs> Did a number on her. Huh? I, I didn't call anyone. I don't even know her. But we do! And we won't have history repeating itself, damn it! Get her! <laughs> Stop! Thanks. Let's get her out of here. So, who are you? V. Carrie Uridine sent me. Carrie? Fuck, I do not get this. Uh-uh. Must have spent too much time with paranoid Patty in there. It's about samurai. Talk later, okay? Right. Let's Delta. Follow me, I'll get us out of here. Elevator, over there, let's go! Cars outside. Why'd you come here? Really? No wonder Patricia didn't buy your story.
Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, it could've been worse. That's why you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. A conquer like this. Hope it gets us there in one piece. All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Let's just say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. Got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? A reunion with some old friends. Ah, come on. Carrie and Johnny were friends. That's it. We just floated around, sometimes got in their way. So what do you want? An interview with Carrie? Huh. <laughs> Could write that myself, straight out of my ass. I'd want access to all his industry contacts, associates. Eh, yeah, not a problem. Not as far as I can see. We're here. Hop out. All right, so the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nancy? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Ran into a few hiccups with the good folk from Maelstrom. Fuck yeah! Listen, I caught Henry. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You're gonna play with us, aren't you? You gotta meet the others. Send you the address. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Hmm. those 
Uh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Right then. Guess we keep looking. See, Carrie beat us here. You fucking god! Who boy? Danny, what? Sounds sadly hey, familiar. What are you doing uh, here? You're here. We got a problem. This is really your house? This is your fucking pool? This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels, we're done. How's it going? Like shit, man! Danny wants me out of the gig! And we already agreed on everything! What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck! This is all fucking great! So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn! Don't make me choose. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. What are we doing? If we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you- You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Okay, about all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call.
Yes? What's up? Wanna see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always, Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful. Or I'll start believing that. He won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? I guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay. How do you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp, while I cover you. Not going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. Leader gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. 
Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay. Got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Oh, yeah. We even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just... Is one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad and more than its look we have to move quickly we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop okay out i'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight you just watch yourself down there Okay, 
You're near the main structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Not this. <laughs> Damn it, stay out of sight! Yeah, that's weird. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. Penam. Found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? Uh, it's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Got a girl here, dead, disemboweled, and not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking Raffins! Solus Bill! There's no line they won't cross! None! Great! Jen! <laughs> Cigar. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh. Oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh-huh. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. <laughs>
Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. Okay, we'll let us in a hurry. Biotechnica may be a good offer. Hey! It worked! We have lights! Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place. And I'll See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. <sighs> Not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Gotta agree with Pen M. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no, hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in Night City. Corpse got their grubby claws on everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few, like any family not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. And 
think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. I would settle for a soft pillow. Might prove hard to come by. We'll see. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Mm, nope. Hmm. Mm hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Alda Caldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback.
Hey, gig's all set up super sweet like. Tonight, at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your ass. Got the gear all rounded up. job. Oh, sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time... This was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. The lose Orphean. Remember that samurai graffiti in Haywood where the bakery used to be? Uh-huh. Got painted over a while ago, but yeah. Johnny was holding the Orphean there. Nice one. Where'd you find it? It's like fresh off the shelf. Bought it. Private collection. Always like to have everything down to the last detail. Gets too obsessed at times, but gotta respect her hustle. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. Got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. And what happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me. Party with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What'd you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus... Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. 
pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Ready to thrash? Have fun. Motor. There you are. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Jill, dreamed that. Jill, she's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. All right, let's do this. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? That was enough. 
In that case, here. Take it as a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me? Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay, your choice. Let's go. some trouble in Japantown at the parade. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but the second I heard, I knew you were involved. Just wanted to talk to Hanako. Things went a little sideways from there. Dealing with corpse? What did you expect? What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. It was nice catching up. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. What's new? Nothing special, same old story. I'd rather hear about you. How's Virtue tuning going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you call preem. Does smut count? Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to Virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed who using what? Yeah, something like that. But you see it differently. For you, it's art. How'd you get into Virtues, anyway? I always had a techie streak, ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first Virtue, I was like, Hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Always wondered, why the smut industry? Isn't it obvious? 
Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. Something else I wanted to talk about? Got all the time in the world. What's new at the Mox? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the Mox? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the Mox in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Few Joy Toys' lives really change for the better thanks to them. Got another question on my mind. Shoot. It was nice catching up. I'm right here, V. Call me anytime. そうしているようです。もちろんです。わかりました。God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, he Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me. If your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a four needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh? Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? 
We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool? Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Hmm. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka Top Brass? Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. V, do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Ah! I'll think it over. You could use some air, right now. What are you doing? 
doing? Shit, we could be hours from it now, V. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. Want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endotrizine, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Uh huh. How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. Rogue? I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny... It's gotta work. We breach the tower. Alt cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? Just yet. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Uh. Almost done stabilizing the biochip. No, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table. And demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... I wasn't completely myself. I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up. Carefully. I'll try. Think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah. So slowly. Another victory for the history books. Hmm. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah. What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrize in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. 
Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endo Trizine, Rogue, Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just not in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide. Let's make sure to get out of here first. Can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Nah, not really my style. Goodbyes. You do you. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, 
It all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. Now you can let me do that. Or I can take Hanako's off. And lose, V. Damn it, there's more at stake here than your life. I think you ought to go with Rogue. Two of you together got the best shot. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. You're up, Johnny. I trust you. Take the wheel. Just... Go easy on us, yeah? Thanks, V. I'll get us through this. You'll see. See you on the other side. Even if I gotta burn this whole fucking city. Look who we have. V. Drop in for one last drink before turning in. I'll put it to you this way, Wakako. Wagwa. Don't get in my way. You're running your little operation only because I have allowed it. And I can change my mind whenever I want. Hang on, give me a sec. V. Try again, Rogue. Got one more guess. Johnny. We'll talk soon, Wakako. What do you want, Johnny? Jesus, who died? Not happy to see me? Frankly, I'm not sure. Why? We had fun at the movies, didn't we? We're not at the movies anymore. Plus, got a good idea why you're here. You want something. And that's always a bad sign. Of course I do. And who better could I take it to? Out of that whole crazy crew from Atlantis, by some crazy coincidence, only you survived. How's that supposed to mean? Just thinking back. You miss the old times at all, Rogue? Fine with where they are, fine with where I am. I can see that. Shame no one else from the Atlantis had the same luck. Hey, everybody! We're closed! Oh, what gives? Now. We ain't finished yet! Oh, yes, you is! Sheesh, what's the matter? Nothing. Your shift's done. You're heading home to kick your feet up. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go back to work. We'll have the whole place to ourselves? Hmm. VIP treatment. Now talk. Just what the hell are you insinuating? That my bottle behind the bar? Yep. Been waiting there. Just... I never knew what the fuck for. But I'm starting to get some good ideas about how I might use it. Chose a cozy life for yourself. I'm just curious what it cost you. We all pay a price for the choices we make. I'm no exception. That what you tell yourself when you're cashing corp checks? That's what I tell myself when I stand over the graves of the crew from the Atlantis. It's what I tell myself when I look at you now. Well, hey. The past is the past. That's right. But that's not why you're here. You want to drag me into something again, and this chatter is just a prelude. This body... I'm trying to... I... No. Fuck! 
V's dying, and I'm the fucking cancer killing her. But the process can be stopped. I just no, have to... No, Johnny. Don't start. Don't tell yourself you're out to help someone. It's only ever about you, so you can feel better. Well, maybe I've changed. I'm running out of time, Rogue. When that fucking clock strikes 12, Johnny will disappear and V will go with him. Need to get myself out of her head before that happens. We managed to contact Alt. She agreed to help. But? Only one place we can do it. The data fort, Mikoshi. And the only access point we got a chance of reaching is tucked snugly under Saka Tower. Arasaka? Again? Should have seen that coming. Only an idiot does the same thing over and over, while expecting things to work out differently. You even have a plan for this? You're the best fixer in town. You tell me how we're gonna do this. Did you say we? That's right. Can't possibly work without you. So what? I dust off and load up my tsunami? Rejoin your crusade against Arasaka? Bingo. When? Dunno. Now? Hmm. And what makes you think I'd agree? Owe it to yourself. Is that so? Sure, you can just be the queen of the ball in Night City. But that's not the real rogue. The real rogue you buried while you climbed to the top. Look deep. I know you can find her again. Shit. Knew this would happen one day. That one night, by some fucking miracle, you'd waltz in here and tear everything down. Some things never change. And us? Have we changed? I don't know. Well, what do you say we go find out? Will you lend me a hand? Shut the fuck up, Johnny. Just stop talking. Fucking Christ! <laughs> every time. Every time. Never have I seen one not drunk as a pig sleep over 20 hours. I remember that face. Gotta be Crispin Wayland. Spitting image of your dad. Blood of the blood. But what did I miss? Why are you here? The boss will explain all. Rogue? There is only one boss. Let's go. The boss awaits. You said your hellos. Excellent. Rogue, what's this specimen doing here? He's our pilot and our ride to Corpo Plaza today. 
our ride. So you're in. Don't act all surprised, Leadhead. Gears over there. Help yourself. Don't mind if I do. What are these? Retro thrusters. Anti-grabs. Strap them to your legs and you can jump from damn near any height. Christ, Johnny, I'm not your fucking babysitter. Tell me what the plan is. Yep, Jack in the shard. Targets the Mikoshi access point in Arasaka Tower. Need to reach the lab floor. Hold it just long enough to do what we need to do, then get out alive. Arasaka Tower's a fortress, the most secure building in Night City. Walking in through the front door just ain't an option. So, we'll get in through a window of our own making. Specifically, we fly in on a Militech Strix tactical bomber. First, we rain fire on the building's air defenses from a high altitude. Then we breach a wall on the 76th floor, jump from the AV, and survive the landing thanks to our anti-grabs. That's right. We'll land smack in the middle of a tropical rainforest. Contrary to popular opinion, Arasaka has panache at times. We cut our way through the jungle to a shaft located on the tower's vertical axis. The shaft runs the height of the building. We use our retro thrusts again. Reach the bottom floor quickly. We'll surprise the socks off security. They'll be in disarray. Resistance should be minimal. We hit the lab floor running, reach the access point, the rest will be in your hands. I'll hold for applause. As I said, there's only one boss, one queen. Saying we're gonna rain fire on these assholes. Seriously? I've waited too long for this. Don't bust out of your pants just yet. If we want to survive, we gotta do a lot more. Here comes the tricky bit. We're gonna knock a Jerujan 0401 commsat off its orbit. Blood clot satellite. We gonna make history, friends. That'll freeze comms in NC, NorCal, and SoCal. Should buy us three or four hours. No coordination, no support, complete chaos. You mean to tell me that apart from that fucking bomber, you have a weaponized space shuttle? Got a certain... Acquaintance at Orbital Air. Mystery benefactor? Highly positioned informant. I'll pay him enough to give us access to the Jerujan. The rest will be up to our old Netrunner friend. You mean all? Only one I know who can rip an Arasaka satellite out of the sky. I'm supposed to talk to Alt anyway. I'll convince her. Don't fuck this up, Johnny. It's the one thing I can't do for Said I'd do it, and I will. So summing up, we fly to Arasaka Tower unnoticed and say hello with a welcome basket of missiles. Exactly. Then we jump in, find the building's vertical axis, and work our way down. To the Makoshi access point. What'd you think? Plan's got more gaping holes than a kabuki dollhouse. Fuck it, it's gotta work. It won't be the stupidest stunt we've ever pulled. Rogue? What? Just... thank you. Thank me later. There's still the matter of all. Do you know how to move around cyberspace? Well, V got some practice under her belt. Sure I'll manage. Head out back. Nix will show you the ropes. And you, Wayland, heat up the Strix. We'll be with you soon. 
How long you gonna be? Might I have time for a nap? <laughs> Hey, so you the one gonna dive, right? That is the plan. Right on. Hop into a suit. Then have a seat over there. I'm finishing up for the day. So you be resurfacing on your own. And don't fuck with my gear. I see her in front of me. You see Alt because you wish to. It's a defense mechanism. Your explicit memory is simply creating a replacement image. It's weird. Having like a bad I, dream. You read my thoughts? An oversimplification. You still deny what you are. A construct. A set of data. I... know you. You know me. Like lines of code. So what else do you know? The complexity of your emotions. Time is short. Netwatch could detect our local net traffic. I know how we get... It's beneath Arasaka Tower. Predictable. Holy fuck, you're doing it now. You're the reading my... Zero 0401 poses no problem. I can deactivate the satellite. C -c can you just hold on a second? You will breach Arasaka Tower and locate the port into Mikoshi. This is the program that will establish the link. I will send it with you on a splinter. Upon your opening of a back door, I will be able to circumvent the data fort's security protocols. And once that's done... You will be separated from V. And Mikoshi will cease to exist. Cease to exist, as will the constructs inside, right? No. The data constructs will not be destroyed. I intend to take them with me. To integrate them. Gonna devour those poor constructs. That's monstrous. You forget. They are data. Data that will not disappear, but become part of... something greater. Meaning what, exactly? It cannot be described in terms you will understand. But perhaps, one day, you will see it for yourself. Is that everything? Wait, wait, just one other thing. We don't have much time. If you wish to say something, say it. Rogues on board, too. Told me to tell you hi. Pretty funny, right? Like old times. Yes. It's funny. Halt. They're an escrow. Paperworks with Asukaga and Finch. Yeah, everything's fine. Got no reason to worry. Now, pull over. 
kill the engine and have a nice long look at the stars. Simply that. You won't regret it. Gotta go. I love you. Biggest raid of your life in that getup? Really? What, not catching my good side? Won't exactly shed many bullets, but that's your problem. Ready? Yeah, it's ready. Good. Now come on, or that lunatic will take off without us. I like this joint. Gonna miss it. To the very top. So, Wayland, what'd you tell him about the job exactly? Only what he wanted to know his cut. He any good? Aiming to be an NC legend before long. Hmm. Aren't we all?
Initiating Hayabusa protocol. The facility is in lockdown. <sighs> hey. Fuck me. You still breathing? Your personnel must report to designated zones. Wayland never jumped. Crashed by the waterfall. I'll try to re-establish contact with him, then find someone who's got access for the elevator going down. Wayland, you read me? How many pieces you in? Still one I owe. And I think the local tribe's taken an interest in me. We'll get you out of there. Don't move. As if I could. We're going after Wayland. Got it. Guards. Cocky dead squad. Occupied at the term. Alt alarm. Slip and buy is an option, and so is taking him out all at once. I'll follow your lead. Barely coming through. Oh, Christ. Don't get yourself spotted. All units report. Opening Not fire. Even sorry. No. yours. Thanks for the help. You were supposed to jump with us. Don't like all enemies in one big puddle. Decided to ripple them out. Remind me a lot of your old man. What? But you're too young Not to... Not now. Let's get out of here. Move!
the atrium. Jesus. It was just a month ago I met with Michiko Arasaka here. Empty hallways, offices. Just like back then. Remember? Of course I do. You've changed, you know? Finally grown up. And you're still the best. So, security rooms are on the lower level. You'll need to plow through. elevators are still jammed. Gotta jump. That's a long way down. Precisely why I told you to bring the antigraphs. Down bottom. Which way now? Security room. Need to find the elevator to the lab. Fastest route to Mikoshi. Heads down! Surround her! Open it from here. Probably a controlled turn nearby. Open. Patching in alt. Let your woman out of her box. Let her show us what she's got. Hey, you've always been with me. You know that, right? I do. Just a shame you never did. Well, could have been worse. Alt's in. Think she can break through the ice? I have bypassed security. I have complete control of the building. The way to Mikoshi is clear. Elevator, now. Run operations control. 2067. An Arasaka bodyguard shields the Emperor of Japan from an assassin's bullet. 
2071. Arasaka security forces prevent mass riots in San Francisco, saving the city from certain ruin. 2074. Bullshit. Know that look? Got something on your mind? Ever think back about why we did it? Did what? Why we took, took on the corpse, strapped in leather, chrome, and iron. Don't know, Johnny. We were young. Hot blood in our veins, shit judgment in our heads, like all pups. We fought for beauty, not knowing what was good or true. It was only the beautiful that meant a damn thing to us. Don't let your mind wander. We'll kick around old brain cells over vodka once we're done. My treater? Or people with stories of the olden days, just like my grandparents. Arasaka Netrunners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Continue on your way alone. I've cleared a path, but you must hurry. An elite Made security a run for it? is following you. Wound up turret fodder. Holy fucking Christmas. Oh shit. Seems Cunningham's made strides these last decades. Shit-eaters never even stood a chance. Come on, the way down's beyond the door. Looks like our work here is already done. I'm preparing to repel a Netrunner attack originating from outside the facility. You will be on your own now. And you must hurry. An Arasaka open source isn't far behind. Let's move it! Okay, so close I can almost smell the data stream. Room past the partition. We cross it and we're at the core. Can't turn back time, Johnny. Ever. But you can always start over.
Okay, so close, I can almost smell the data stream. Room past the partition. We cross it and we're at the core. Can't turn back time, Johnny. Ever. But you can always start over. Son of a bitch. Broken more than you or I ever could. Best, Best there ever was. And you killed her. She knew the risks. Rogue had it in for you. 
finally got what she wanted. You're talking tribe. I killed the old cunt. Don't know shit, Smasher. She finished things off on her own terms. Something you'll never get. Hey, Wayland. Yeah, man. You're all right. Good luck, Silverman. The access point lies before you. Link to it, insert yourself, then search for me on the other side. Once out of nature, I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing. But such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make, of hammered gold and gold enameling, to keep a drowsy emperor awake, 
or set upon a golden bough to sing to lords and ladies of Byzantium of what is past or passing or to come. Hey, V. Happy to see me? Not exactly. Blacked out, then woke up here. I miss anything? Rogue's dead. Smasher was there. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be. Died for me, not for you. Is my body still in one piece? Parked it in Arasaka Tower's basement, plugged it into the network. I figured as much. Your output's been torching my brain with Soul Killer for a good while now. You'll be all right. I mean, look, you made it this far. Awareness of what's happening right now? That just <laughs> raunches. Like, Alt neatly packed me into an engram. Couldn't even tell when. Or how. So what do you think? Like being a clump of ones and zeros? At first, the phantom pain. Jesus. I felt like my whole body was on fire. I realize now, it's not pain at all, just some digital simulacrum. Guess all it's gonna start moving this digital psyche I am back into my flesh, but... I had no idea if I'll survive or... What I'll be if I do. Soul killer, we can't feel it doing its thing. How come? Should be pissing our panties in pain right now. Digital analgesia. Or data streams. Certain sensation inputs can be blocked, blah blah, yada yada. Alt make you suffer through an exhaustive lecture? Imparted it instantly. Whatever. She did say she'd destroy Mikoshi. Just as you agreed. Gonna release all those poor bastards only to suck them into her own bosom. Make them part of herself. So we at the finish line? It's all in Alt's hands now. No. What the hell? Alt? I made a mistake in excluding the body as a factor. DNA reconfiguration has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Spit it out! In human terms! V will die, independent of what I do. This is inevitable. This is imminent. Check again. If V's engram is damaged, can't you fix her? Hardware. Therein lies the problem. The organism's neurons have been dying for a time. Any attempt at a procedure upon its brain would result in the latter's death. You're a fucking genius! Think of something! Enough! Johnny, shut up! I need to think. Gonna be alright. Think I of said, something. Give me one fucking minute. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way out of this. The biochip has irreversibly changed the host organism. It no longer belongs to V, who is an intruder there. The situation is different for you. All changes were made to accommodate you. Hang on. Telling your ex to kick me out of my own body? The changes are irreversible. You have nothing left to lose. He has everything to gain. 
I will not interfere in your personal affairs, but while Johnny has full control, he can do what he wishes. Alt, give us a... What the hell for? So you could trick me into agreeing. Giving you a free pass, even though you can already do what you want with my body. You're my friend, V. I'd never pull that on you. Never do you wrong. Seeing as how I'm doomed to die, we stick to the plan I gave you. I leave, you stay. Keys to my body are yours. No. It's gonna be me. You lying sack of shit. So what do I do, Walt? Simply cross the bridge. You will become a part of me, as V's body and former life are restored. You fucking kidding me? Okay, easy. Ain't too big a dose of silver hand wound up in my blood. Need to chill. Listen, if I had to choose who to hole up with on a desert island, it wouldn't be you. Ever. No. The whole cast of little big corpo rats would have you be. Because you're a dickhead. In a big way. And sure, plenty of others out there are more deserving of life. But if so, I never wish you dead. Just promise me one thing, asshole. You won't forgive me.
Good morning, V. I trust you had a restful night. Mm-hmm. You have no new messages. You have one meeting planned today. At the afterlife, Delamain has confirmed a vehicle arrival at the arranged time. I've noticed your calendar is empty for what remains of the month. Would you like me to begin planning? No, thanks. That's as it should be. Perfect. Have a nice day. Hey, boss. Hey, you there yet? Not yet. It'll be on time, though. His people came to scan the place earlier. Check and make sure everything's clean before he arrived. <laughs> Thought we didn't notice him. And the gear? All set with the heat. Rest, too. Full tank, ready to launch. Thanks. Be there soon. Hey, Del. Are you prepared for takeoff? The afterlife. Head over there. Your wish is my command. My, don't you look tired? Did you have a difficult night? Difficult few weeks. Success weighing you down. Is that it? I was under the impression you had gotten all you wanted. That you'd shown the city exactly who is top dog. Can I help? I'd very much like to help you. Mood in the city. What's it like? Arasaka's problems continue to compound. Organizational disintegration. Its share prices collapsed. Public mistrust is at an all-time high. I could go on. Secure Your Soul was to be a smashing success for Arasaka. It turned into a horrific curse. They lost all resources related to the program. Mm-hmm. Promise the rich immortality. Sold him on it. Actually collected engrams and knowledge. Bid for control. For power, I say. And the street? Rumors abound that you've taken on something rather big, and that one with great power and even greater funds is backing you. Nothing much besides. Arasaka is in chaos, striving to restore even a semblance of order. It seems you, the afterlife, are safe for now. Good to know. May I ask you something, V? Shoot. You mentioned recently that only one thing matters to you. To gaze upon Night City from the very top. I hope your deep learning covered metaphor. And you're not about to tell me to exercise caution when looking out the window. Sarcasm. Funny. No. I wish to ask what will come next, once you've achieved your aim. I'll feel fulfilled. Truly? Sure fucking hope so. I've chosen the optimal route. We'll be arriving shortly. One last thing before I shut up as requested. Don't worry, V. Hey, we good? 
Perfect. Your box is ready and waiting. Something? My usual. Sure thing. Keep the intel something's up. Won't be able to keep it under wraps much longer. Won't have to. Take offs today. Today? Is that a problem? No, no. Just. In that case, you're gonna need something special. Rogue had this little ritual. Before any big op, she'd knock back a shot of tequila. Silverhand's preferred. Asked her once if it was for luck or whatever. You know what she said? Said it was about remembering. Said that remembering Johnny that way helped her focus on what was important. Anyways, afterlife tradition. I'm gonna mix you up one of our specials. Just tell me who we're drinking. So, what did it hit the spot about now? Mix me up a silver hand. Drink into Johnny. I mean, I only know what people say about him, but Betty would love what you're planning. Shit, you know, the damn moon. I know. Good luck, V. Put you back together beautifully. Grand, shiny new wave. <laughs> yeah, somehow. Anyway, I had enough of sitting on my ass in the clinic. Feel much better here. Where you can tell everyone about your Sokka Tower heroics? <laughs> you know it. But what you plan to do today, V? I mean, respect. Nothing else will ever come close. Take good care of yourself. And good luck. Thanks. V, I've long awaited this moment to look the latest afterlife legend in the eye. I must say, I'm moved. Happy not to disappoint. Ladies first. Talk to me. Well, V. Mikoshi was quite the punch. You TKO'd Arasaka, in fact. Brought you Eddie's influence around town. But not just that. It meant positive paralysis of Arasaka systems. A few additional hatches opened up. My people rushed in, grabbed what they could. So it's all systems go for the up. I have confirmed the intel leaking out of Arasaka. The casino is currently testing a new security system. And it's true. They will be shutting it down briefly today. I believe you'll know how to use that moment. Won't be disappointed. Pick the best merc around for the job. So I've heard. But I'd like it proved to me as well. Speaking of which, Nobody's ever pulled off a stunt like this. Where I'm from, they'd say it's straight impossible. They'd say you're taking too big a risk. Poetically speaking, flying towards the sun to burn up. They'd be dead wrong. All of them. Self-confidence worthy of a legend. Or of someone risking it all. But I sense you know what it's like to lose everything. To fight for one last breath. I see it in you. The stem tomorrow should have the casino's client data. All of it. Don't forget your side of the bargain. Oh, I never forget a promise. Good luck. Right. In position. Perfect. Almost to the second. My turn. Hmm. Satellites are down for now. 
Just got the signal. Signature cloaking activated. Remember, got one shot and one shot only. Hmm, tell me something I don't know. As soon as it starts, there'll be no backing down. No chance at extraction. No chance of survival if anyone notices. Excellent. But if this works, you'll gain more than you ever imagined. Times when I had something to gain are long gone. Now, now I got nothing to lose. That's kind of grim. Then again, who am I to judge? Here goes nothing. Good luck. See you down bottom. Over and out. What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I'll bet your tunes at the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fuckers shooting chrome out his ass? Am I right? <sighs> well, I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood. Talk about old times, and I'll take a look at you. Make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Um... Hey, V. I was just wondering how you've been. Haven't heard from you in a while. Still living large in Night City? All I think about is dropping everything and leaving. <laughs> Yet, here I am still. Well, the city's like quicksand. The more you try to get out, the more it pulls you in. Once you're up to your knees, you're never getting out. Like, like Evelyn. Anyway, look out for yourself, okay? And call me sometime. Bye. Hey, v. it's Pan Am. Remember me? 
The one with the car? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City. With a certain V in the lead role. Um, don't know what that was all about or what you got going on. But if you ever need a hand, our camp's your second home. I will never forget what you did for us. And for me. It's a debt I'm happy to owe you. Head up. Eyes forward, V. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well... Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. Soul of rage and fear 